What's up, everybody? Happy New Year. Welcome to Flagrant. Happy New um, Year. And I've, I've thought of a solution for the Israel-Palestine situation. Oh, nice. oh, oh fire. Starting Finally. Hot. I figured it out. Finally, dude. I've been doing a lot of research, and I've been studying it, and I've, been, I've figured it out. Uh, you know what? I believe in your weeks of research, you figured out a 200-year-old conflict. Honestly, you would think it'd be very difficult, it's but it's not? actually not. Okay, hit it. Hit it. We have to make Christians in charge of the area. Oh yeah, this is your right. Yeah. Okay, have I ahead. told you this already? No, but I, I saw you. I see you trending in this direction. Wait, why? Why? I know. Just the whole Christmas is the greatest, and blah blah blah. Go ahead, do, so your, do your thing. <laughs> so jealous. So jealous. Goofy paint everybody holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you don't have a real holiday, and it's okay. Christmas is fantastic. We'll get to that later. But you need Christianity. You need Christianity. You need Christian. You're not Christian. Why well, get an you extra? Need, why this is what bothers me. You this need why it bothers Christian. This is why it bothers me. You're not Christian. Did I not celebrate Christmas? <laughs> Everybody Did celebrate I not Christmas. Have... Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, but that don't make you exactly. Christian. Exactly. Mark, does celebrating Christmas whoa, make whoa, you Christian? Whoa, 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 whoa. You more Christian. Celebrating the birth. It's not the even birth his real of birthday. Our Lord and Savior. <laughs> it's not even his real hold birthday. on, hold on. The birth of our Lord and Savior. What do you mean it's not a real birthday? <laughs> it's not his real birthday. You know this, history man. Of course it's his real birthday. <laughs> what do you mean it's not his real birthday? It's the exact day of his birth. What was his real birthday? Nobody knows. Let me see the birth certificate. Bro, the birth certificate. Are you a birther? Yeah, you know, Jesus is born, born, Jesus Jesus born in Kenya. Yo. No, Jesus is like, born in Kenya. I, I don't know if y'all know that. Man. No way, bro. <laughs> yeah. So I don't want to break his Broad skin. Guys, Jesus wasn't even Christian, bro. <laughs> yeah. He was Jewish, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Maybe That's the Jews should be in charge. And they That's are. That's too much. Too much. That's too much. You can't listen. Jews and Muslims, it's you, they can't be in charge. They they don't know what to do with the responsibility. It's bad for everybody. Yeah, we like to run things from the shadows. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah. <laughs> no, no. You give them, no. You give them high no, positions of power. So you give true. Jews high positions of power. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> it's the reality. It's the reality. Let's start the new year right. It's in the reality. August. It's the reality. Oh my Jews, God. you give them high positions of power. They're going to do great. Everything's going to be fine. Muslims, they can't be in charge. Can't be in charge. Mm -hmm. Can't do it. Can't yeah. do it. Listen, yeah. I, I know. I know I'm sounding like the prime minister of India. But <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen me disagree yet. You know that's the they one time I got charge. They <laughs> can't be in charge. Hey. Gotta, it's got to be a little bit mixed up. Can I tell you something? Yeah. I'm starting to like where this is going. I thank you. If you just listened to me, <laughs> okay. we would have okay. fucking got there. I apologize. Okay. Listen, um, yeah, Christians, if Christians are in charge, everybody lives great. Tell me. Where Jews, Muslims, Indians, everybody is living better than where Christians are in charge. Aren't Indians arguably living better in the West than they are in India? Yeah, but that's because you no, guys. No, no, because. You just said, <laughs> yeah. No, no, but, but, yeah. yeah but that's you incredibly yeah, important. Yeah, but yeah, but do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You just said, yeah, yeah. They're living better in the West. Of course they're living better because in the West. Because of. Jesus, bro. <laughs> Y'all need Jesus to be your greatest, no, bro. No, it's not true. Throwing no. confetti around ain't going to make you great. Bowing to the Lord. Wait, we bow. Aren't some of the happiest countries in the Netherlands and aren't they atheists? I didn't say happy. No. Well, I'm hold, just hold, saying. Hold, hold, hold. Not happy. Hold on. I didn't say happy. Not I didn't say happy. They're the happiest people. They're the happiest. They be lying. They're the they be lying. highest quality of life. <laughs> That's because they ain't got no Muslims. They ain't got no Jews. Again, they I like where you're no going. They ain't got no Indians. You know what I mean? It's pure white people up there. No. no. <laughs> That's the only thing that makes white people upset. <laughs> no, but, but I do think they got some Christianity. They got the best quality of life. They're the happiest. They're not that religious. Yeah. They're Christians without the Christianity. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? That's you. You're nice to their neighbors and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> You're Yo, such a fucking can you idiot. Just, can you just, can you just put some respect? Idiot. Can you just put some respect on the fact that with Christianity, everybody lives better? No, it's not true. Why y'all flocking to Jesus then? Who's flocking to Jesus? Y'all, Indians, every single day. <laughs> what are you even talking about? You come into America, you come into London. You, you went to London. You love it so much. Kiss yeah. the cross. Mwah. Suck this dick probably too, you <laughs> fucking muddy nigga. I had to go crazy. Yo, you talk about the Lord and saves. Don't talk about the Lord and saves. You believe Jesus is a God. Yes, y'all God, great. We Don't believe no in our God. That. You don't believe in your God. 
Say I don't believe in my God. You don't believe in your God. <laughs> that's, how you know. that's what bothers you. How you know? How you know? How you know? How you know? I see you. I see how you, know? how you live. How you know? I don't see you in oh, church. Bro, bro, I don't see how you in church. Oh, oh, when you in church? I'm sorry. When was the last Have time you, you read in the Bible? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, exactly. You don't need to go to church. <laughs> no, this is convenient. Ooh, ooh. Okay. I mean, he's kind of right. No, he's kind of right. Listen, no offense. What is kind of? Explain how he's kind of right. Well, let's I'm talking see what about he says. actual. <laughs> I'm talking about actual Christianity, not the Catholic shit. I'm talking about you know the Orthodox Christianity, the <laughs> real one. Oh, the OG. Yeah. The OG, OG. I'm an Orthodox Christian. I also have to like the right. Greeks. You know what I mean? Okay. That's what I'm part okay. of. That's what that the real Christianity. The I celebrate Easter in March or something. Like, um, <laughs> no, <he's> right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Christmas like, is Sunday. Yeah. They what got the that? real date right. It's the Julian calendar versus the Celsius. Gregorian calendar. I celebrate Celsius <laughs> Christianity. <laughs> okay, what is Celsius <laughs> Christianity, centimeters, I kilometers, could be on board with Christianity, this. all that. What is it? Explain it. It's the real one. But explain what it says about What church. is true does not need to be explained. <laughs> <laughs> is that from Harry Potter? What is live does not need to breathe. What? Come on, Mark, <laughs> shut up, you Catholic. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm saying the Catholics, they understood branding. They got that shit right. Mm-hmm. It's nice. They're they're the they're the what is it? The Phil uh Knight. Phil Harmonics. Oh, oh. <laughs> Phil Harmonic. I don't know. I thought it was a biblical word. <laughs> no. It's a music word. Oh, my bad. How dare you talk about anything? <laughs> my bad. No, how dare my you bad. tell me I'm not a Christian? What makes a good Christian? Going to church and then just cheating and philandering all the fucking time? Whoa. That's a good Christian Whoa. to you? Yeah, not philandering. How many good Christians do you know? One. You? Well, no, me and Luther. <laughs> That's, yeah, I, Two. I, I know many. I grew up in Two. the South. No, I said good Christians. Yeah. <laughs> you know a know. bunch of lying. Gambling. No, fucking meat They're on probably Lent. Doing usury. No, doing I'm usury. Not, I, know, mm-hmm. I know preachers. I know Just actual usury. preachers. Unlike the, the one preacher you brought on this podcast. <laughs> That's a good Christian. <laughs> I brought a basketball expert. <laughs> I ain't bring no preacher. I bought a basketball expert, bro. I bought a hooper. I bought a hooper that no man. Come on, Carl. I bought a hooper. I bought a hooper that had great relationships <laughs> and can tell us great stories about what it's like to be an That's NBA player. That's how you player. spread the gospel. You know huh? I mean? That's how you, Listen, you spread the seed. He was spreading everything. He was spreading the seed. <laughs> well, you know what? I forgive him because I'm a Christian. Mm-hmm. Did he, he was converting people, right? Yeah, he found Islam. No. <laughs> he sure did. He sure did. He, sure did. he, sure did. he found he, the promised land. Yeah. Was she Muslim, the girl? I think so. We got to see if she converted, though. <laughs> if fucker. she converted, he did what he had to do to he, get her to yeah. have it. He's off scot free. He did what he had to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How many people you converted to your? We thing? don't convert. That's not something we preach. We don't mm. proselytize. Mm. We don't try to convert. That's how Whatever you believe is shit. beautiful. So Al is that, with us. Al knows so, what time it is, yo. That shit is fly. Al knows fly. what time it is. Yeah, we don't do that either. We don't got to go around knocking on yeah, doors. Yeah, don't do that. Shit. You Fuck just Wait, what is we? What are you? <laughs> he Hindu. You're a Christian. No, he's Puerto Rican. He's Al, Hindu. I could be swayed. <laughs> free agent. <laughs> right and, now. He's free agent, but he's leaning heavily toward the Hindus. Yeah, Name one thing about them. He knows the, the main thing. The main thing. Reincarnation. I like, I like one of the main shit. things. I like the bitch with the arms. Not a bitch. My bad. You want this, 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 you want this yeah, fucking heathen? Haram. Haram. Yeah, I mean, Haram. 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 With all due respect. You saw how he talked about your girl, right? You saw how he talked about your girl. You're not going to do that with Muhammad. Nah, nah. That, but that's because we're more no peaceful respect. people. Yeah, they're more so peaceful. So he's gonna take advantage of you. That's what I said. No, he's coming. He just made a mistake. We yeah. forgive too, dude. We you don't forgive you. shit. If there's anybody I know more spiteful in the world <laughs> than you, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> also, he's gonna laugh at all your family members' accents and shit. You really gonna want that? <laughs> no, that's a fact. You gotta work on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fr- I forgive it because I'm a good Hindu, but you gotta work on that. Bro, that. Christianity is king. That's it. Shut up, everybody else. You're <laughs> lucky you're allowed to talk. <laughs> Honestly, all like, religions outside of Christianity are lucky they Jewish can talk. Until like two weeks ago, bro. I'm still Jewish too. <laughs> <laughs> Christianity, they they no, Christianity is just the the remix to ignition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you're a Christian. <laughs> you do know you read the Torah. You're a Christian. Do you know what the Torah is? Al yeah. doesn't read Al, the Al don't. Old Testament. Come on, all bro. five books. Exactly. Well, all right. I know it's five. Well, but, all right. it's not. It's not five. Like we're all having fun. Exodus, Genesis, <laughs> Numbers, Leviticus. Deuteronomy, Leviticus, Leviticus, Corinthians. You're already at seven. <laughs> no, yeah, no. Five. Five. already five. at seven. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't call Corinthians. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Genesis. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Genesis. Go, 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 go five. Go five. Exodus. Exodus. Leviticus. All Deuteronomy and Numbers. Yeah. Out of order, but that's correct. 
same, same. We know how it ends. We know. We get persecuted. <laughs> well, we don't know how it ends, ends. You guys don't. But you will convert. Remember that on in the day of judgment. Was he right? Mm. He's out of order, but yeah. Fuck uh, you. Damn. In order. Damn. Um, <laughs> the I thought we had him. I thought we had him. <laughs> we stuck there, how? Yeah, yeah, if we... you got him wrong, you got him wrong. Um, uh, Shifty, what's the greatest religion of all time? Christianity. And should it rule the world? <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Who runs Shifty the world? Christians. 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 Who, Who runs, runs the world? world? Christians. Christians. Who, want a job? Who runs the world? <laughs> Christians. Come on, Shifty. <laughs> Son, it's crazy how much Al hates black Christians. <laughs> Wait, it's it truly that, crazy. That's wild. He refuses to work with a black Christian. Mm. Found a one black Jew. <laughs> Al hates black Christian women. Why do you hate black Christian women so much, bro? This is crazy. Very specific. Al hates black Christian women. When black Christian women are some of the most amazing women in the entire world. The Life Tour is back on American soil. Chicago, thank you guys so much for the shows. That was incredible. Next up, Boston. We added a third and final show. Uh, we also added more shows. Arizona, we added another one. San Francisco, we added a fourth show. Dallas, we added another show. Miami, we added another show. Uh, go right now, theandrewschultz.com. We've added other cities as well. Go get those. We're coming to Houston. We're coming to Nashville. We're coming to Atlanta. Coming to Charlotte. Uh, go. Go to theandrewschultz.com right now. Grab the tickets. I'll see you guys out there. Thank you guys so much. Peace. Also, first of all, thank you to everybody who came out to the UK Glasgow, fire, Manchester, fire, London, you are, I hate to admit this as an Indian, but my favorite city on the fucking planet, 2000, y'all came out, so many days, he was so fired to see so many fucking upness in the building, thank you guys, also, I'm back in Europe, this week, literally this week, Oslo, Amsterdam, Eindhoven, I'm gonna be there the 6th, 8th, and 9th, and I'm gonna be in DC, back in America, the 18th or the 20th, those shows are currently all sold out, by the time this drops, hopefully we will have decided if we're adding a show or not, Check the website at akashsing.com. Also, there's other dates that you should definitely cop tickets for. Wise Guys Comedy Club in Salt Lake City, January 26th and 27th. The Improv in San Jose, February, February 2nd and 3rd. Greensboro, Tempe, Denver, hidden all these cities, akashsing.com. And finally, I'm looking for a graphic designer. So if you've got some shit that's good, just DM me, hit me on the DM. Uh, I know we tried to set up a link and that didn't work out, but just hit me on the DMs. We'll look through the message requests. We'll figure it out. I don't normally check because there's nothing but sluts in there, but I'm going to check it out this time. So if you're interested in that, holler at me. Thank you, guys. Let's get back to the show. It's disgusting what you do. <laughs> I don't trust It's guy. disgusting how you disrespect our God. Uh, you you got a chance, too. What I a beautiful I name know. it is. Yeah. Mm. What a beautiful name it is. I celebrated Black Christmas. What a beautiful name it is. <laughs> Yo, let's go, Shifty. Shifty, they don't know about the Hillsong Bangers, Shifty. It's just us. Your are Hillsong off. Bangers, yeah, that's the Carl Lentz. Yo, shut up. I know, right? <laughs> God damn, he's good. He's good. The guy's good. He was bangers. We, <laughs> we need him. My we, man was Crips out here, dog. Stop, he was bangers. Stop, Carl. This is going to kill me forever. I'm just trying to spread the gospel, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to spread the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what I'm saying is the Middle East needs Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we need it! Yep. Yo, the Middle East got enough Jews occupying it, dog. They don't need Jesus. Let them figure it out. <laughs> that sounds so political. <laughs> We're having fun. <laughs> okay? The Middle East needs Jesus, is what I'm trying to say. It is Jesus' homeland. It's Jesus' homeland. Mm -hmm. I'm a Christian Zionist, bro, for Jesus. Bro. I want to send Jesus back there. Bro, <laughs> Let's go. I, listen, I could be convinced. Speak on it. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, it seems like kind of what I'm saying. Who's, I, who's from there? Can I clarify one thing? I don't think G that like Christians need to live there, but they do need to look over it. From <laughs> it's a little messy right now. Yeah, it's just like what's happening. Like a consultant. It's like what's happening in the rest of the Middle East, right? Mm -hmm. Like, remember, they're like, oh, God, there's all this oil, but we don't know what to do. We're chasing around fucking sheep and shit. Mm -hmm. Or that's my people. Did, what's the <laughs> one that they chase around? Camel. <laughs> Come on, Alex. <laughs> Alex, you're so what fucking, you, you hate black Christian women. You fucking, Stop you hate people from Saudi Arabia. Hurts. It's disgusting what you're doing. It is so Stop. disgusting how biased he is. What you mean? Can you just right now profess your love to Jesus and black Christian women? I profess my love to black women. There we go. <laughs> black. You refuse black. to profess your love to women. black Christian all women? Black. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, all whoa, black lives whoa, matter. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All black whoa. lives matter. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Hold on. Let's just try that one more time. Fuck. Do you. Somebody gonna get it. Do you condemn. Do you condemn Hamas? <laughs> Say yes. 
Yes. That's the easy one. Yes. That's the yes. easy Holy one. shit, yes. this yeah. guy might be retarded. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a setup. I thought that it was, was a setup. No, do was you condemn? I'm in the spit cycle right do now. Do you condemn black Christian women? No. <laughs> that was good because I almost caught him. Yeah. I almost caught him. Right. If I gave him one more right. yes, I think I would have caught yeah, him right yeah, there. Yeah. It's too big of a gap. Yeah. You got to get him in the habit of <laughs> just saying yes. Next time, help me with that. Okay. Okay. What about okay. you? Okay. What about you? Yeah. What, what about you? Do you not condemn people that kill Hamas? Mm. No. Can someone check if that's good? No, I don't. <laughs> kill him. Kill him. But do you not condemn? That's why I don't condemn the people that kill the bad guys. Okay, good. Yeah, he got Simple it. as that. He got it. Uh, it what about well, you? Was clever. What about you? Yeah. I do not condemn people that don't not kill people that are killing Jews. You don't even know if that's right, to be Me honest. Me neither. Someone you check yourself Someone up. Google that. This is you why might have said some fucked up shit right there. That's why <laughs> you don't trip yourself Someone up. Someone Google that. Uh, you, you can't trust them. They, <laughs> you can't trust them because they do this with the Latin. They're e pluribus, whatever. And, and then you don't even know what you're learning. Good, God-fearing, black and white Christians and also from the south of India... <laughs> What they do. I hate that I told him. <laughs> I hate any time he Should've knows the Indian that. shit Should've that I told him. Told I hate it. Should tell you there's a slave port in the south of India that they use Christians for. Damn. Oh, that's fire. You're a fucking Whoa. animal, dude. <laughs> what? I'm just saying that there's Christians in the South. That's, oh, a, that's a good that's thing. Oh, that's the fire port. I'm trying to but support. you would use them as slaves? No, I didn't say how I would use them. I don't use them. No, I, I have no idea what's going on over there. I'm not going to South India. Fair. Who understands what the fuck they're talking about over there? Mm-hmm. It is funny to me that black Christians are Baptists, and they're also probably the Christians that can swim the least. Wow. <laughs> what? Is that, is that Listen, not true? I thought Akash's, <laughs> I thought Akash's <laughs> bomb was devastating <laughs> to the momentum of the pot. I genuinely did not know if we were going to recover from Akash's right. bomb. What'd but I do? somehow, what I do? you just went Nagasaki. Yeah. <laughs> but is that, that was crazy. Is that not true, though? I that's think the that's a bigger bad. atomic bomb that was true. <laughs> I think that's true, bro. Okay, yeah, baptize, Baptist. Yeah, right? I mean, that is kind of funny to me. Oh, that's where <laughs> baptism comes from? Jesus Oh, I thought, the, I thought the black church was like, yo, Baptist. Like, I, thought it was like, yeah, yeah. I didn't know it was from baptism. I nah. thought it was like, Baptist. Yeah. Bap, you a Christian. Bap, They're the water Christian. Christians. They're water Christians. Baptist no. Christian. They're Baptist water Christians, Christian. bro. Baptist Christian. Bap, that's one. <laughs> Bap, you hate black Christian women. <laughs> The vitriol that comes out of you it's towards black Christians. Stop. <laughs> stop. If Yo, I converted, though, I'm I would I'm starting to see why you threw me under the bus. I know. That's, so that's, a hot, that's a hot light, dude. God. It is a hot light. But you know what the hottest light is? <laughs> the light from God that yeah. pours into your soul every single that day and you reject it. Mm -hmm. You would be six it. foot if you believed in Jesus. I don't reject it. We, we accept You would be six gods. foot. You would be six foot. No, no, not accept. It, won't, it don't want to be accepted. It wants to be Loved, appreciated, nourished. Mm. God has given you five more inches. Absolutely. God's given you five more inches. You can still be six feet if you believe in God. I mm. do believe in God. No! God is one, dude. He is one. Yeah. Jesus. All God is, hey, whatever, whatever you believe is great. That's great. We accept it. I think you want more Indians to heaven. Is that true? Yes, I do. Hell yeah. I love Indians. Same. Even this one. Really? No, I love him so much. I just want him to be in heaven with me. And maybe you. That ain't my heaven. Mm. Come on, bro. What's your heaven? I don't know. We run it back. What is we? We, <laughs> we, 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 <laughs> we run it back. What huh? is we, Al? Al's going to be in purgatory. Get, nah. You're going to be stuck in that middle <laughs> shot. Nah, yes, you are. Nah. Yes, you are. And you're going to have to figure your stuff out there. What do you think you're going to reincarnate as? Be honest. Based off the life you live. Be completely honest. Maybe a six foot man. <laughs> you, oh, you think you're going up? I think so. You think you're going up? I think so. Ooh. I can take the lifts out and I'll you think he, stay tall, baby. Ooh. Based off your understanding. As, as, is, as you are now, five, ten, five, nine. <laughs> Ten. Six feet. You keep you keep coming over, you keep, you know what I mean, living your life correctly. You might be six one, six two. There we go. There we go. See? Yeah, I haven't promised me that yet. I'm not gonna promise you anything. Know, you gotta come. Come on, Nick Saban. What are you gonna give this man? Recruit this man. Mm. You ready? Mm. Al, my Jesus already gave you a nine and a half inch dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But he ain't give you no width with it. 
Yeah. You got the tick on the road. He stretched out your six inch dick. You got the tick on the road, dude. Be honest, bro. Be honest. Wait, what'd you say? You got the tick on the road, dick, bro. Got, what is that? That's the yellow pencil. Yo. <laughs> they also have a black pencil. Damn. God, oh, damn. How, you, fucking, how you always do this? Shit? Shit? Oh, that's the joke you're making, bro. They're, no, you racist. <laughs> that's a better joke. We need to get Alex onto Christianity. Come on, Shifty. I need a max win. <laughs> I, need, I need a max win, Shift. And Alex being a Christian like the rest of us would be amazing. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't think you realize what you're missing, bro. Why don't you guys go to service Shut together? up, Jew. <laughs> <laughs> Sound very Christian. Like. Okay. Listen, li wait, should we invite them? Yeah, you're supposed to bring them into the table of our Lord and Savior. How many times have you You're been always welcome. I don't want your How version. Many times you your been version. Church? Why do you think church is what makes you a Christian? It's your relationship with God and your relationship with the book that makes you a Christian. What's your relationship with How many with times have you been to... Subway or wherever you guys pray. Where, where do you guys pray? <laughs> Subway's a good one, yo. Yeah. Quiz knows. Subway's yeah. a good one. If no. there weren't so many Muslims no. that own Subway, that no, would be a very how, accurate. How often? How often have you been? You don't have to go that often at all. So why are you judging me? Because that's important for y'all. It is. No, it's not. You're supposed to tie it. It's your relationship shit, right? with the book. Shifty, will you what's put your this motherfucker on game? What's your relationship with the book? Read that shit front to back, back to front. I read it the Christian way and the Hebe way. Hmm. Wait, one time. <laughs> what? Backwards is no. We you read that book right, right to left. Wait, that was a smart. <laughs> Come on, son. You know how I do. They go right to left, Mark. Bro, that's crazy. Mark, they go right to left. Bro, the Hebrew way it might actually be better because then Jesus. Yo, dies, have we been reading? And it comes back. Hold on, have we been reading the Old Testament wrong? Maybe. <laughs> what if we're reading the Old Testament wrong? Mm. Jews go to Egypt. God Bang. creates the world. Bang. Boom. Judaism. Guys, fuck. He is coming. <laughs> Shia is coming. Mashiach is coming. No, but you were trying to get me on not being Christian, even though, but I think you're projecting the fact that you feel like you're not. No, I just feel like you're more agnostic enough. than you let on, and this is annoying. Why is it annoying <laughs> that I have found God? You have, that is his thing. I don't think you found God. Yo, I found God, you, bro. You read the Bible one time. You probably read the Da Vinci Code more than you read the Bible. <laughs> I read the Da Vinci Code <laughs> once. Matter of fact, you took a trip to go trace the Da Vinci Code. You haven't gone to. See any of the Jesus shit, have yeah, you? I went to literally the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. I touched the anointing stone. Oh, did you? When was this? Do you think I'm lying about this? <laughs> no, I'm I have a asking. picture of it. Is asking. this a bit? Like, no, I'm just I'm so just confused. Asking, when was it? When I went to Jerusalem. Like seven, eight years ago? Mm. How many years ago? And that didn't impact you until just now? Mm. I've been a Christian this whole time. <laughs> the Lord works in mysterious ways. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. That is true. Yeah. Christianity is in your soul. It's not what you guys do. Mm. This is, no offense, but this is like the real thing. What, explain to me the real <laughs> thing. We don't have, oh, I believe that I have a wood God. I have a tree God. I have a brick God. There's a God, a million. Everything's a God. God is, you know, oh, I'm late for work. What am I praying to my late for work God? It's one I, God. <laughs> different manifestations of one God. Different avatars of one God. Oh, so now you got one God, dick rider. <laughs> We're first. Wait a minute, you, you got one God? First. Wait a minute, I thought, wait, you're saying there's only one God? There's different manifestations of God, yeah. Yo, Shub, you want to come in there and help your boy out? Shub, hop behind the couch and whisper in his ear Shub. so he can answer these questions. Hit it, Shub. No, 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 don't say shit. Go, go, you tell me. You tell different me. manifestations of one God. So are there multiple gods or not? Yeah, but they're all different avatars and manifestations of one God. Mm. God is one. Mm. And God created all. you don't see how Christianity just simplified that whole shit? Simplified it, you just jocked our shit. Mm. We were first. We're OG. That's for sure. Ooh. That's for damn skips. Zoroastrian, maybe, then us. So you're saying Christianity is like Kanye's Backstreet Boy remix? No. No, because Kanye's Backstreet Boy <laughs> remix was better. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what you're saying. It's no, better. No, I'm not saying it's better. I, I didn't you're say saying that. It's better. I was like the original one, but now you got me. Okay, hold on. So you're saying the way that it was remixed is a little bit better. The no, newer version I is a little bit better. better. No. It's like when they remade Star Wars and they didn't need to. In the 90s, that's y'all. Yeah, but that's a movie that's fake. <laughs> Are you saying your God is fake? <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. Because <laughs> my God could never be. Are you saying your my God? My God could never be fake. Is your God a Kanye song? <laughs> I mean, in a lot of ways, it's you be it's shitting everything. on Kanye. It's everything. Because you be shitting on I'll Kanye. I'll be honest. God fucked up with the Kanye joint. <laughs> he did. He did fuck up with the Kanye joint. He really did. If he's responsible for all that, he fucked up for the Kanye joint. Mm. For real. Mm. For real. Okay. Yeah. Did or it. the mm. second Kanye started hating on Jews, God was like, yo, I'm good on this motherfucker. I'm going to snatch all of his powers. Snatched. Now he can't even make socks. <laughs> you know what? what? I apologize. I should let you believe how you believe. Because that's what a good Hindu would do. That's what, so a good, I'm sorry. that's what a good Christian would do. A good Hindu would chase a Muslim down the street. 
That's what a good Hindu would do. That's a modern Hindu. That's a modern Hindu. <laughs> a good Hindu would chase a Muslim down the street, but you know what a good Christian would do? Let them live peacefully. That's what I'm saying. You let them, let the Jews live peacefully. Let the Muslims live peacefully. Let everyone live peacefully. That's all we've done throughout history. Don't look into it. <laughs> That's all we've done throughout history. Don't look like into it. That's all we've done is peacefully let every different group and color and creed come together and oh. pray to the one Lord and Savior, you know Jesus what? Christ. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna believe you. You know why? Because faith is important. Faith it is important. And that's what we can agree. That's what I'm talking about. Throw the J up. Sure, whatever. It's I'm just saying, all, to all, all the Palestinians Hussein. listening, yeah. the Christians trying to occupy Bethlehem. Just saying it now. Say it one more time. What that is this? You guys. I don't know what, what Bethlehem is. So you got <laughs> Mark. It's where it's Jesus where he was born. Christians uh, are still in there. Jesus was a Jew. Yeah. Give it to the Christians. Whatever you want. Guys. God, you see how they just come in? Just, yes. And then it's just like, it makes it annoying. <laughs> just, I just gave it back. Gave what back? <laughs> I mean, Did it's, you a, though? it's a struggle. <laughs> it's a struggle. Listen, I think the takeaway here is this. Christians take control of the region. Mm -hmm. Think about how amazing, well, look at the Middle East. Look at the development that's come out of the Middle East. I mean, look at Abu Dhabi, Dubai. You look at very Saudi strong Arabia. Christian, Christian, Christian strongholds, Christian <laughs> cities, Christian strongholds. Now, but now we laugh at this, right? Where are all their kids educated? Mm. In the Middle East, mm -hmm. is that where they go to school, or do they send them to uh, Christian society so they can learn how to not throw a gay guy off a building? <laughs> They go educate them in places where they don't throw the gays on the building. Then they come back and they go, hey, we gotta stop throwing these fucking gays on the building. It's creating an issue. We're not gonna have investment over here. They stop it, all of a sudden investment floods in. Maybe. They know what to do with that oil coming out of the ground. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I'm just saying, like, how do you not see this? How, like, are we blind here? Maybe the best is just mix in. You know what I mean? Learn from everybody. Mm. That's Christianity. That's what Hindus do. Mm. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> you made so it a hot line. <laughs> we made it a hot song. <laughs> it's just what it is. What a beautiful name it is. Hit it, Shifty. <laughs> Shifty. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. Ooh. Oh, oh, my oh, kids, tell me that. Yeah. Tell me. Oh, Go <laughs> on, tell me that. I got it. Thank hit. you. That's even I, I felt hit. that I one. I felt the Lord through your voice. Yeah, that was hot. I felt the Lord through your voice, bro. Felt I felt that And one you know right what the other that was very smart is you got the black people on board to make music as well. And now that just really takes things up a notch. I mean, did you see the preacher that did the put swag surf into his sermon yeah. for New Year's Eve. And walk it out, yeah. Oh Come my on. God. I need to see that. No, oh my God. God. This is, shout out, shout out to black people. Yo, if you just take a racist to go see them, like when swag surf comes on, see a bunch of black people, you're not racist anymore. It's just the most fun. Yeah, yeah, that would it's work. the most fun. It. it might be peak black people. It's Yo, fantastic. Shout out to y'all, shout out to black people, man. Hey. Shout out to y'all, bro. I mean, you don't feel that way about yeah, Christian women, but. No, I mean, the internet, oh, you, you do hate black Christian women, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, it, is, it, is a, it is a historical fact. We can look at it, we can check the record, but, uh, but shout, out to, shout out to black people. Now, shout out to the internet, because now countries that don't have black people are starting to get the fun that black people provide. Oh, that's true. And they're starting mm -hmm. to like that's insert true. it into like their daily lives. So they what get the benefit of black people without having them there. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded crazy. <laughs> that sounded crazy. <laughs> What I just say, yo? Yeah. What I just say, that so, hey Chifty, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Shifty, we gotta move so, off this topic immediately. What so, I'm Yeah, cookies yeah. <laughs> 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 got a little higher. <laughs> 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 I just got a little sharp. What did I even say? I know, uh, what did I even say? I know, I know, the benefit of black people without having them there. Let me save your career. Yo, yo, let me save your career. Help me, help what me. What he was trying to say is, help me. even though they don't have black people there, they might, they can see this and then all their preconceived uh, racist notions are dispelled by being uh, like, oh, look how great black people are. That's what he's trying to say. It came out like that. You need that wait a, minute, a wait, lot wait, wait, more. Wait, wait. <laughs> Hold on, because I wasn't saying that at all. That's no, crazy too. No, no that's what you were saying. saying. I didn't say I'm that. I'm trying to save bro. us today. Oh, fuck. Come fuck. on. Okay, wait, wait, wait. That's what we were saying. But wait, what, I, I thought what I was saying is they get all the fun okay. that black people provide for culture, but, but they don't have to 
Have them. No. <laughs> wait, wait, I'm not the shot. Wait, wait, wait. We're all in oh, one oh, shot, right? Wait, 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 wait. We're all in one shot. Wait, wait, wait. wait Come wait, on, bro. We're on a single. What was I saying? What was I trying? What I was trying to say. Come was, on, bro. Listen, think about it. Yeah. If if you're Sweden, yeah. Or if you're Norway, right? Okay. You're not gonna have any good music. All you got yes. is that stupid song that's playing over the North Sea videos on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Hoist oh. oh. the colors, right? That's just last. Hoist the colors high. And ABBA. I don't know. Okay. They got a different TikTok. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> they definitely got white TikTok. We got white TikTok. Yeah. But my point Sounds is. Sounds fun. My point is. Yeah. Black people are going to make the most fun shit in the culture. Yes, this is okay? good. Okay. That permeates through all American culture. This is a good thing. The only For reason Twitter is still standing. Black sh- Twitter. Boom. Swag surf. Mm. Unbelievable. During church. Catholics ain't doing it, bro. Not yet. Okay. But. Maybe, maybe, nah. maybe the Pope pulls it out. Who knows? Yo, it's, pope, it's a progressive Pope. Bro, if the Pope did it, bro. Mm-hmm. You might have to. Anyway, my point is, and then these other countries that don't have black people now can learn about fun. This is all good. Nothing's wrong with what you're saying. And they can take the fun. Mm. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> that last part was like borderline. They but can take you, the fun. You edging miles right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yes, give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> How did I get a stray? <laughs> you know, because that's strange. what they do, Miles. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Miles, look alive, guys. Come on, stop. We have to not be any racial thing at all during the, you know. Yeah. Listen. Starting off the new year. Come on, we yeah. gotta stop. We gotta stop. Yeah. yeah. But you do get ah. the point that I'm trying to make. Yeah, we get it. Mm-hmm. What is it, even? <laughs> You're saying that even though they don't have what <laughs> <laughs> they still get to see all the entertainment they provide. And then yeah. they get to take that shit. Yeah. Can we talk about this big titty <laughs> Gypsy Rose? Whoa, whoa, whoa dude. dude. Whoa. <laughs> dude. Alex, what? You're talking about, <laughs> you're talking about a newly uh, free woman. Yeah. yeah. A former yeah. child, bro. Come on. She was a child. Say that. <laughs> yeah. You're talking about a former she, child. Whoa. Oh, dude, yeah, chill. Yeah. This chick used to be a kid. You can't say that. Uh, she used to be a woman's kid. Crazy. She used to be a female that kid. Wow, crazy. Let me find out now. You hate women children. <laughs> yeah, I, I do hate women children. Come, I hate women children. Yeah, That's the safe. That's safe. Yeah, I do. That's safe. You Why? hate them because you can't love women children. Yeah. That just sounds weird. Especially the white ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. Especially. This is this is unbelievable. You hate wow. kids. But Gypsy Rose. What's the she, opposite of pedophilia? She's grown now. She's grown. Now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're pedophobic. You're a pedophobic. Yes. Whoa. That's a way safer thing to be. Yes. You gotta be honest. Yes. Absolutely. You are. You gotta pedoph- admit it. You're I'm a pedophobe. I'm a pedophobe. You're a pedophobe. Yep. Even se- Mark. Mm. What are you gonna do with these kids that you hate? Yeah. You notice how you just didn't say that? I though? know. Right? But you notice how instead of saying I don't. <laughs> Son. Love kids, you just asked him another question? Yeah, yeah you gotta you gotta jump on him, bro. What are you talking about? I'm not gonna let him go down this trap. That's what hole. you say about <laughs> 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 your mind. Counterpunch is called Come on, you swing, my boy. Yeah. So wait a minute. All right, so as a pedophobe. Yeah, what do you do with these kids? What does that mean for your world? If, are you a pedophobe? Do you condemn? Are you a pedophobe? Do you condemn wow, pedophilia? You, you won't answer you the question. That's crazy. How dare <laughs> you, you, bro? You backing your people like that? You're, really, hey, that's Alex, crazy. you're gonna kill you, these little what kids. What about Jewish children? Or do you hate them? Absolutely not. <laughs> They're women. Was that right? <laughs> there we go. There we go. So, you, so you do From like some? Well, like you got it off you. You got it off you. Okay. you know, now oh, you're okay. going back in the west. Oh yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. No, this uh, gay sheep over here. Nah, he ain't putting the back on him. Fuck that. <laughs> okay, so I've been the hot seat. Too can much. you kill your mom? <laughs> what? Can you kill your mom or no? Well, she never killed anyone. She Let the can. record show. White people. Yes. Can you get? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do that shit all the time. <laughs> Bro, she really is female. She's female Eminem, like, bro. I'm bro. not gonna be punished. Fuck you, bro. <laughs> like I do bro. that shit all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, bro, there is Take uh, away my game, bro. <laughs> I mean, we're just going back to black people making things fun, but there is a video of uh, a black yoga class, right? No, sorry, it's amazing. Okay, there's two things. One is the black swim class. I think I sent it to the group where they coming into the pool and there's a line of them that's like came to them and they're like they're like, we are black. 
<laughs> and we can't swim. <laughs> we are black. You must have said that to the group chat. And we can't swim. Without the black guy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that one. Did I send it to the only white song? I think yeah. it was white song. Right, I got to get him on <laughs> Anyway, the, the yoga one was they're doing couples yoga, but it's just in doggy style the whole time. And it's just oh, a black person that. whose He's face sorry. is over the video going, we can't give black people nothing, bro. Because <laughs> <laughs> they can make it fun, bro. This is what happens when they're Hindus, bro. This is what, this I, what I went to a hip hop yoga. That's class. more fun. Than <laughs> no, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. How no, you relax and get into Zen, bro? They would play trap music. Bro. No <laughs> yoga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a thing. Trap yeah, yoga, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Trap has just become a thing. You just yeah. throw on some some non-black <laughs> shit, and, cool. and it does get more lit. Yeah. Trap karaoke. Shouts to Mouse Jones. Yeah. Way more lit than regular yeah. karaoke. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, you could just really add anything. Well, so what I was trying to say is they're trap is like nutmeg, like trap yeah. pedophilia. Yeah, I did that yet. That's that's y'all. That's R. Kelly. That's R. Kelly. That's him. R. Kelly did do that. He literally, he literally trapped him. Literally, he trapped him. He trapped him. That's crazy. Yeah. So do you, Probably do you condemn? Better you music than Kelly? better music than church music, though. You got to think about do that. You condemn Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> so Gypsy wrote. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> they still got some bangers, bro. Like, Yo, come on, bro. Nah, yeah, crazy. Come on, Dove. Stop it. All right, guys. You know what time it is. You see the lights. It's time to talk about Blue Chew. One of our original sponsors, OG Flagrant. And you know why we stayed with them? Because it works. If you want to be better at sex, if you want to give your best performance, performance enhancing drugs for the most important performance, Blue Chew is what you need. Ladies, why not treat yourselves to the night of your lives by giving the man you care about, at least for one night, Blue Chew. And if you're a Flagrant fan, you know what you know what the deal is also. Flagrant hooks it up on the promo. Special deal for, deal for our listeners. You try Blue Chew for free when you use our promo code Flagrant at checkout. You just got to pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code Flagrant, and you'll get your first month for free. First month for free. One month. Great sex. I used up my month, and I'm still coming back for Blue Chew because my dick game without it. Boss Huda. Anyway, visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information because we don't want you having great sex without being safe. Blue Chew looking out for you. And thank you, Blue Chew, always for always sponsoring this podcast. Now let's get back to the show. All right, we're going to take a break for a second because, listen, some of y'all are balding out there and you don't have to. This is a choice now, okay? You can keep that hair. You know it's going to help you keep it. Keeps. The brand Keeps is going to keep your hair. S- simple as that, Okay. I'm telling you, I've been doing this shit for like 15 years now or something like that. I should be bald. But thanks to the keeps, your boy is still in action. So what you can do right now, you can take a simple online consultation from the comfort of your home and get matched to a clinically proven, affordable, and personalized treatment plan that helps you boost and regrow your hair. And best of all, keeps delivers it right to your door in discreet packaging, okay? You find a plan that works for you and your schedule. Keeps offers flexible delivery options. You can just adjust, pause, or cancel your plan at any time. They've helped nearly one million men keep their hair, and you can be one of them as well. So, Hair loss stops with Keeps. For a special offer to get started, go to keeps.com slash flagrant. That is K-E-E-P-S dot com slash flagrant. Now let's get back to the show. Gypsy Rose is free, bro. All right. Ooh. Nah. Right? <laughs> nah. nah. <laughs> Yeah. Gypsy Rose look like an Albanian mother of two from the Bronx. <laughs> 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 Yo, G- Gypsy Rose, all right. Top comment is fire. What is it? Maybe out of prison, but she's still serving 24-7. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so break it down to me. You can't kill your mom if she's literally... What what exactly did, did she do? She had to take a bunch of drugs. She had the yeah, Munchausen, Munchausen syndrome by, by proxy. proxy. So I guess Munchausen's is when you think a bunch of shit is wrong with you and you need to be just convince everybody you're sick, probably believe it yourself. Munchausen by proxy is doing that to someone else. Mm-hmm. So she kept telling doctors she had, I think, leukemia, would keep shaving her head, literally had her salivary glands removed. That sounds like no fun for anybody. Mm-hmm. You should be able to kill your moms in that case. I think I, so. But again, can't you claim momentary insanity? The problem is her and her, the boyfriend who actually killed her, for, there's apparently a lot of text messages where it's like premeditated. Yeah, but a, can't you be insane for the whole time that your mother's torturing you? She's a- It's a tougher thing, but it wouldn't, it'd be hard to say temporary insanity if it's been- Fair, not temporary insanity, but like, couldn't you just be induced? Didn't you have this like state of insanity induced by decades of treatment or however I think old that the was, fuck she was? I think that's what you should be you able would to think. do. Wherever you wish you got sentenced, bro, you could have saved her. I would have saved her. You could have you you saved, saved the courtroom. Saved. I would have said, I saved Al. Yeah. <laughs> 
I said I would have saved it right there. I, I saved you from I'd getting fucking raped by some Swedish guy <laughs> in your asshole. Whoa! 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 Basically, they just post videos of the sea. The North Sea is incredibly dangerous, bro. And then they play this song. This is actually our, our boy, Colin McGill. Yo, Gypsy Rose. Yo. <sighs> Goes crazy. You're right. Black this. people do make everything better because y'all sitting here watching no, no, this. No, no, do the video Yo. with the boats. My the man, why are we looking at creepy, Brian dude. Greenberg? <laughs> so y'all at home watching that? No, 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 no. Yo, Come Gypsy on. Rose looking through that camera, man. Right? <laughs> I'm I done. feel connected. The I feel super connected. Together, I'll like kill her grandma. Her grandma's still alive. <laughs> Who you need to kill, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> you can see how it would work on a young, impressionable oh, kid. Absolutely, dog. Wow. Uh. Uh. Mm -hmm. uh. You know, boyfriend got life in prison? I don't think that's fair. I can't. I don't know. What did, oh yeah, I almost asked what her mom got, justice. Yeah, yeah she's <laughs> up, dude. But that is crazy that he got that, oh, I'm trying to think. I was trying to think, so I, what I was reading, I was trying to think how they got there. There was one text he sent to her where he said like, he has an evil side and he enjoys killing, and he used present tense. He never say, I future tense, I would enjoy. But that's where you might talk to a girl though, right? I, I mean, that's sexual I mean, talk that's, for them maybe at this point. I don't know. I, I said my shit nine and a half inches <laughs> and thick. That's right. He didn't say it his was, silly putty stretch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he didn't say his four inch thick was silly Laffy putty Taffy. stretch to, oh, okay. to nine and a half. Fruit by the foot. Come on, dude. <laughs> yeah, I gotta pause that. So <laughs> factual. Cool. Nah, but dude stabbed her up while crazy. Like, that's a different type Well, of that guy. was the most New York sentence I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> yeah. Nah, but dude stabbed her up while crazy. Because that is, <laughs> that's more difficult. That's more difficult. It's more difficult than, like, shooting a bitch. Stabbing is, is anger and hate. Yeah. But what if... But she deserved anger and hate, dude. And imagine that he was He loved this girl. She loved. abused the fuck out of her yeah. for yeah. decades. Yeah. Literally had her in a wheelchair, convinced she couldn't walk, which is crazy. Made her take uh, cancer meds. Mm. Yep. She could walk completely fine. Mm -hmm. Her mother was like, "You're in, you're confined to a wheelchair and chained her to a bed." Apparently, did she get? Um, I mean, I'd be seeing white parents have their kids on leashes. That ain't which that is a much good idea. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> much fun. Yeah. I yeah. like the leash thing. Why do we give pushback on the leash? Because it just looks so dog like. Uh, okay, uh, uh, yeah. He's yeah. like, is that bad? <laughs> I don't know. Is that bad? We love our dogs. It just it feels like you're dehumanizing a kid to a dog's level. I don't. And we think... love dogs. I love dogs. But that's when you got point. a kid no, on a leash, the making... visual of it. I understand the idea is I don't want my kid to run. But even if like the leash was attached to your chest and y'all are just like there together, that's different than holding a leash. I that's actually a fucking great distinction. We if the leash product. isn't in your hand, yeah. if it's just belt to belt. Then it's kind of like one of those things where you carry the baby right here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just with a with an umbilical cord. You just like, thought oh, about yeah. this right now? Yeah. This is a guy we should do this. As belt an idea. to belt is umbilical cord. Mm -hmm. Don't even call it a leash. Call, call it, it the, the cord. cord. Mm -hmm. But I also think y'all underestimate how much Fine. white people like our dogs. So when we treat our kids like a dog, it's actually a good thing. I love my dog. Oh, yeah, and you be, be kissing them on the lips, too. That's what I'm saying, <laughs> Y'all be kissing kids we on the lips, That's what I'm too. saying, bro. That is accurate. I'm That's upset right? if my dog don't kiss me back. <laughs> if I put my nose close and I don't get a lick, I'm tight. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell did I do? Ugh. Is that how you punish your dog, though, if your dog poops on the on the ground? No kisses? Don't make out with your dog no for kisses. a whole day? Yeah, I won't give, I won't give her any love. No kisses. <laughs> Fuck you going. <laughs> All right. Love you. you. Love Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, no? Son Shifty just walked through a wall like the <laughs> fucking Hawaiian punch. Is it the uh, Kool Aid? Kool Aid. Kool -Aid. Kool -Aid. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, fuck. You want right. to go? You want to go ho one time? Yes, one time. Let's go. Okay. Boom. A better video than this. Yeah, come on, it, man. It's can sorry, you just I don't know what him? you're thinking. Sorry, I don't know can what you your just, brain has. Can in. you just text? You can text him. Can you just text Damn, him? Damn, Mark, what why you got so upset? Sorry, I don't right know what's in your brain, guys. But right. you <laughs> noticed that wasn't a good video. It's, I didn't see it. I don't know what the video but is. Yeah, yeah, wish you talking about yeah the video. The, you know what? If you had just been honest and just said, I haven't seen the video to him. But he has seen it. That's why it's so frustrating. I've seen some of them. I also have seen the main guy singing it, and I listened to that one. 
<laughs> this one, I'm not doing that. And we're not going to have this Wow, mid. Like we're the, not going to have I like the guys he watched right in the first one. He, he, I listen to the guy's face doing all the instruments. <laughs> no, I like that. I like <laughs> harmonize. I'm a fan of music, okay? Bro. <laughs> Let me like music. <laughs> <laughs> I like music, dog. That's the one oh I want. God. No exaggeration. I drove no. through Scotland. If I want to watch a redhead singing, it's Ed Sheeran, bro. I'm not watching that motherfucking yeah. Yoho. Oh, no, God, that Yoho no, is fire. fire. Not fire. that one. Yeah. I don't know what y'all are talking about, but both of those videos were not it. I agree. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna defend those videos. But once you see the one where the shipping containers start falling off this massive ship because the waves are so big and the yo hoes is hoeing, <laughs> it's one of the most scary things you ever experience in your life. You'll have mm -hmm. nightmares about it. That you was windshield wipers. That was literally. Son, that I, was windshield. I got upset wipers. when I saw the windshield wipers because how big can waves be if the windshield wipers still attached? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, like, what is what? Mark, are what the at? fuck you doing? I didn't bro? know there was windshield wipers in the thumbnail. You should have seen the windshield wiper in the beginning it. of the fucking it's video. So and you're like, this ain't the one. I didn't see you the thumbnail. You need to see the shipping oh, containers man. falling off. I didn't see the thumbnail. No, it's gotta look dangerous, bro. The corniest shit I've seen. That's a car in a puddle. Yo, 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 yo. Find it. I'm gonna go oh, on tonight. Almost oh, guaranteed that's 100 That's so bad. This is what you do when you on a sh fucking toilet for two hours. Yeah. <laughs> Just watching that. Yo, yeah. you know what? Fuck, now I'm gonna look fuck, at Gypsy Rose. Fuck Christians. Let black people run everything. We should. But at the very least, we we're gonna be should. having black a people lot are Christians, fun. yo. Fine. Black Christians can run everything. I'm okay with that. Sorry. Al, don't don't disagree yeah, with yeah, me. No, here. No, no. How fast until it came up on my TikTok? That was four straight. Because I knew what you were thinking. Can I see this wait, video? Wait, hold on, show us. It's not the one. It's not the one. It had windshield wipers. Did it have windshield wipers or not? <laughs> there were windshield wipers in yours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was wiping. Uh, you saw his comment. I didn't clock it. I didn't clock it. Oh, thank God you did. Oh. <laughs> so, so let's see what's going on over on Instagram. Maybe there's something oh on Instagram God. I can look at. Oh, my God. Oh. Uh, black Christians, y'all can run oh, things. Fuck. We already in debt. How much worse can you make it? You know what I mean? Word. Mm. All right, yo. <laughs> we know how to run up the debt, boy. Let's go. Um, but listen. Are you on team free Gypsy Rose or not? Hell yeah. I mean, she's free. She's free. Already. So, all right. But yeah. what's up with the OnlyFans? Yeah, that's what I'm I saying. I need to see the damage from that abuse. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that sounded crazy. That, one, that sounded, that one, What was he trying to say? That sounded crazy. Oh, oh. What was he trying to say? He's trying to say, I want to understand the pain that she went through because yes. I'm an empathetic person, highly oh. empathetic, oh, that's and I want to understand her experience. That's what he's trying to say. Wait, was it, it just came out like that. Oh, that's beautiful. Was that was that's trying what you were trying to say. Oh, I, I promise I was, you that's what you were trying to say. Wait, but... It was? I think yes. so. Oh, because I thought I was going to say she was going to be sucking dick no, crazy. Well, no, no. <laughs> went through some incredibly traumatic <laughs> yeah. stuff. Stop. That's, that's not yeah. true, dude. That's Wait, not true. That's not what I was No, because she has no salivary glands, so what fucking good is it going to be? God, <laughs> imagine going crazy. You just crazy broke my you. heart, son. <laughs> how, how did a bitch with no salivary glands convince a man... To kill her mom. <laughs> Maybe there's more. This room. is one of the most diabolical like geniuses like in the that. world. A girl that can't suck dick. Convince a man to kill that. That man deserved double life. <laughs> <laughs> that man deserved double life. You know the dude that killed the mom is still in prison. Yeah. What? Gy Gypsy's out. And then and she broke up with him. Yes. Yo, 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 do us a favor. Yo, do us a favor. Welcome to the yo, podcast. We've been yo, talking about this for ten minutes. minutes. <laughs> I need you to punch him in the chest with your fucking right hand. Son, son. I understand we all zone out sometimes. That was one of the fucking craziest things. Yo, we all get in our head, but I need you to know. He said, he said, he said, yo, 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 yo. Y'all know Gypsy Rose is out of jail, right? I need you, you, know, to you know. know she's out of jail. I need she's you to know. Though. We've been talking about this for 10, 15 this minutes. Still in 2023. Are <laughs> 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 you looking for the yo ho videos? Yeah, I'm trying to find it. There's windshield wipers on all of them. <laughs> yo, <laughs> that was crazy, Mark. That was yo. crazy. <laughs> But her, the dude that killed her is still in prison, and she got a new husband. And have you seen how dude, the husband like looks? Let me have see. Have you seen how the husband looks? Let me see my man. Identical. Oh, she got a new husband? Yes. Identical oh, to the mom. I know that. Oh, what shit. the fuck, dude? Come on, now. You guys didn't know about this? Let me see. Press play. <laughs> no, we didn't know about that. Thank you. You're Press play. He might redeem himself. Mm. Press play. It's playing. Oh, that's just one picture. Yo, that's weird. I mean, it makes sense. Holy shit. Oh, wow. So she got him to lose weight? 
No, that's the mom on the left. Oh, thing. these are different people, bro. What's that one right there? They look like a. Uh, I'm not even gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the one on the left? The mom, take any shots you want to at this Chris That's Foley. Look, yeah, this Chris Foley looking ass bitch. Take whatever <laughs> shots you want to. Oh my God, she's massive. Yeah, dude. I mean, that's just fucking terrifying, dude. I thought she had a great performance in The Whale, won an Oscar for that. I mean, she does <laughs> have Brendan Fraser's chin. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Crazy. You see his bro. license plate? Who's? The husband goes to pick her up from, from jail, get her. Oh, and okay. his license plate on the front says Hitman. Whoa. That's fire. But, but he didn't do anything. That's stolen valor. You pussy. Yeah, stolen, yeah. Valor. stolen, that's stolen valor. valor, bro. Yeah. It is crazy. They interview the dude in jail. He's like, I don't regret a minute of it. Hell no, dude. He's still standing on it. He's like, I, I did that. You that's killed a monster, fire. dude. That's fire. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I think if you do all that to a child, like, wouldn't we? <clears throat> Sorry, quick thing. Yeah. They treat, well, as far as we know, in jail, it's like child molesters, child abusers, the worst, right? In jail. What about a guy that killed a child abuser? How does he get treated? Oh, he's jail? a king. No, oh, he's a king. So he's getting treated okay out there. Yeah. So I, mean, I think it's for this jail. Is, it's like, yeah, I'm in jail for life, but like I'm getting treated well. I guess what I'm saying is like if we know that there's a child abuser out there, right? Well, especially to that degree. And then they get killed, mm. shouldn't it be a little less? Yeah, life than that's murder? What, life seems the, I think the only thing I can think of from what I've read is that text saying I I know people who murdered people and they went to jail for like twelve years. Mm. This guy murdered a child abuser. What should that be? Six months. <laughs> like a child abuser as notorious as her? I think that's six months. Yeah. Mm. Like, I, I mean. A year, good behavior, six months. Fair enough. So if you kill Jeffrey Epstein. Oh, dude. Who wouldn't kill Jeffrey Epstein metal, if you had the opportunity? Heart. Purple heart. But here's the problem. You know who killed Jeffrey Epstein? Himself. Jeffrey Epstein. Oh, so he's a hero. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's the only you know, Jeffrey Epstein no, became a hero at the end of his life because bro. he killed he Epstein. killed the child molester. Oh, that's my point. Yo, bro. this guy killed yeah. a rapist. Yeah, what, dude, he killed a child kill? molester. He killed a rapist. Yo, did that list come out yet? Well, we literally so. put the pot off for a day, <laughs> hoping the list would fucking come out. Mm. And they ain't dropped this list. When does it come out? I gotta check. I gotta 3 check that. When school, they, they don't have a time. <laughs> <laughs> In the meantime, you can look at Kanye's new IG post in the last 25 minutes. What is he doing now? Posted his lady. I already support it. Who's, who's the shorty? His wife, right? Oh, let me see it. Gypsy Rose. <laughs> is that a badge? If he no, pulls no, up with Gypsy Rose. What's be... Kanye posting? His wife. Picture number two. Goodness gracious. That's the Next. fuck to talk about. Good God. Like that's how you sell some socks, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, damn. Are those Natty Ices or? Yeah. I don't think they're Natty. I think oh so. God. They hang Natty. Oh. Yeah, that's, I mean, crazy. God damn. Damn. I mean, it is really hysterical. Like, <laughs> Where do you buy the socks, though? Where do you? <laughs> <laughs> but he needs, he needs a racially ambiguous girl with gigantic tits, and then he can, he can really get attention. Yeah. Can he do it without a girl? I don't think so. Did you hear his apology, the Hebrew one? No, what is it? It's very funny. He apologized in Hebrew. And he yeah. was like, I sincerely apologize to the Jewish community for any un unintended outburst caused by my words or actions. Didn't mean to de offend, demean, yada, yada, yada. And that's the whole apology. And then the, the Anti-Defamation League was like, uh, this is a be, be, this is a beyond bizarre ploy to get more attention. And the Hebrew apology without translation is inaccessible to most American Jews who do not speak the language. To be sure, using Hebrew to communicate with the Jewish community and denies most Americans and American Jews and non-Jews to see his apology. Can I be honest? Shut, Shut the up. fuck up. <laughs> Shut, Shut up. the fuck Shut up. up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. The funniest response. We can't response. be that annoying. It's the funniest. <laughs> that <laughs> <laughs> the response was so funny. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah, just let God. it be. I do bro. not claim that response. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> just call it, it, it's just called a bullshit apology from Kanye. It clearly doesn't give a flying fuck, but. Uh, I believe it. Yeah. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> I think he means it this he, time. He put some effort. Yeah, I think he means it this time. <laughs> Google be, Translate be that Christian, whole situation. This man. Oh, that's the other thing. They, they found out it was just ChatGPT. Yeah, ChatGPT. Yeah, 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 yeah. After looking at some of these pictures, I, I, I believe him this time, bro. I believe him. I think he's turned over a new leaf. <laughs> Look at that. That's Christianity right there. Yes. <laughs> that's Christianity. Yep, Jesus. Yeah, this guy's awesome, dude. That's Christianity. I'm going to get them socks. Yeah, what do, you, what do you think of the socks, bro? I love them. You would actually wear those? Yeah. But can we talk about how that's Christianity? <laughs> just, can we just talk about that? that, dude. Christianity produced that. 
Uh, yeah, that's Catholicism, actually. She's Italian, right? Let's go. Not necessarily. Nah. Let's go. They would never. Nah, I could she's be. She's Italian. Most likely. Playing the percentages, she's probably Catholic. Guys. But yeah. Catholicism, form of Christianity. Can I show you some crazy shit real quick? I cannot wait. Obviously. This is, if you want to talk about, if you want to talk about some, some Christians. Yeah. Now, I'm going to show you two women, okay? I want you to not be disrespectful to the woman of God, all right? <laughs> So these are two twins, okay? Oh, I've seen this before. Jerked off to it several times. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> be specific because I'm about to get fucking crusades on you, all right? So you got to be specific here. Can we just have this segment every show? So these are twin sisters, all right? Shouts out. Yep. Yeah. One of them is a God-fearing woman. The other one is a fitness person. Yeah. Okay. And uh, and she's just been just been posting some 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 stuff. Okay. Now, you seem to be what? using the premise that it is somewhat shocking that a woman of God would be beautiful. To me, oh. that is Whoa. in no way shocking. No, of I'm, course women of God are going to be beautiful of, and, 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 and even more beautiful if they believe in the one true God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'm using the premise that you've, I've never known what a, nun's, what a nun looked like. Oh, that's fire. But Mark, now? Stop it. You're but, being a liar. But you now, do know what nuns look like. The, but how? the nun don't work out. So the nun got a sloppy fucking <laughs> shit on that. Yo, come on, Al. Al you being Chill, bro. That's disrespectful. That's a woman, woman of God. God damn. Al, like Jesus yes. Christ. That's a goddamn right there, bro. I must like I'm sloppy. <laughs> Cover it with that God fucking damn. bag, bro. Get, right, come get on. out of here. Get out of here right now. That's what I don't Get out of here right now. We don't now. want no devils in the house, Lord. God. I got a question. Her was her man racially. Well, who? Her man, because you got pictures of he a guy. Like, he oh. looked like Aquaman, right? Yeah, I got. Look. He looked like he could be. He looked like she could be ruled by a Muslim. If if you have a twin and they do OnlyFans, are you allowed to be upset? You got to get a check, probably. Yeah, because that's your 10, body. 15 percent easy. Son, easy, easy. There are these two twin brothers, seven feet tall. The Collins brothers play in the NBA. Yeah, Jeremy one of them and Jason. became gay. Yeah. yeah. How fucking much of an <laughs> asshole is he? <laughs> You know what I mean? Couldn't we have a conversation about this? I'm the most recognizable motherfucker every time I walk in a room and everybody thinks I'm the gay one of us. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like, you, need, you need like a nose ring or like a, a haircut or something. Like, it probably makes girls feel wild safe around him, though. It might work out in the end. Mm, you think so? Especially seven foot black guy walking into a room. A bunch of girls are probably scared, but then they're like, oh, oh he's yeah. gay. He could do the dove approach where yeah. they think he's like <laughs> just a so friend. They think he's 100% gay, <laughs> not 49. Yeah. Fully gay. And then he whips his dick up. Yo, Gypsy Rose is looking through that lens, bro. That, you know, that you know is one of the prison? most engaging things I've Big ever yeah, seen. Let's get her on the pod, dude. Her, <laughs> her man is still in prison. Yo, let me that. see some other pictures of her. Oh, yeah, can. we do want her on the pod. You should cut the thing I said earlier. No, 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 no. <laughs> Keep that, keep that. Listen, um, Mickey Mouse is free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The mouse is free. The mouse is out the house. <laughs> okay, Disney has lost their decades-long battle to maintain the intellectual property to the Mickey Mouse character. Mm. I think that back in the day, it was what? How long could you own, uh, own like the rights years? or something? It used to be way shorter, but Disney's been pushing that yeah. through litigation for like 40, 50 years. Yeah. yeah. And, and so, they've been trying to push it back because they feel like their whole brand is wrapped around it. It is. Yeah. You could argue. I mean, like, I, th I feel like now they're so far removed. I guess it's such a conglomerate. It, the Marvel is a property yeah. and all these other things. But ABC. at the time, it's like if you have this Mickey Mouse cartoon and then your competitor can also write a Mickey Mouse cartoon, there's nothing you could do about it. I understand a concern. So technically not all Mickey Mouse yeah. is, is out of trademark. Yeah. It's the first one. Steamboat, Steamboat Willie. Willie. Steamboat Willie. Can we see what that guy looks like? Yeah, uh, yeah. you've seen him. It's not the one I slapped. Nah, nah, Steamboat Willie, fire. They still yeah. use Steamboat Willie and shit. Nah, they just started bringing like them back. You go to so Disney try to, World, you don't see that. Oh, but that me. shit is tough, yo. Yeah, it's kind of cool. And why was he driving a steamboat? I don't know. I guess that was his job at the time. Maybe on the high seas. When yo he was home. on that shit? Yeah, did you hear that? He was yo <laughs> home, probably. No, no windshield wipers on this guy. <laughs> <a> fucking thug. <laughs> ripping it around. But yeah, so this guy is untrademark. Now people are making movies about him. They've been like plotting on this for a while. Because it's been 100 years since this came out, I'm pretty sure. So now they got a... Uh, this movie is called The Mickey Mouse Trap. Trailer just dropped today. <laughs> she is murdered by Mickey Mouse, bro. Whoa. Sure murdered? 
But then they came out with a, a video game a while ago. This is like last year, I think. But it's coming out this year. That's like another like Mickey Mouse is like a, a, a rat infestation. They got to kill all the Mickey Mouses. Mm. I mean, these are great ideas. Just like in terms of getting uh, garnering attention, the best way to do it is a horror movie where Mickey Mouse kills you. Well, the, the reason they also game where you gotta kill do Mickey horror Mouse. movies, they, they did this with Winnie the Pooh a couple years ago, yeah. is because the parent company won't come after you because you're not representing Mickey Mouse in any way that Disney did. Uh, yeah, so it's actually, it's why porn and horror take these characters and run with them is because they're not going to come after them. It's so far removed from the original. Yeah, they're account. not worried about your, yeah, your little movie. Your but little if you made one that was like, Mickey Mouse goes and does something fun, they're going to be like, yeah, we'll yeah, they catch make a theme. You make a theme park based on Mickey Mouse, they're going to yeah. go cut that shit out. Yeah. Um, could you go back to that list right there? I want to say something real quick. Um, where are we in this Simone Biles and uh, her husband calling himself the prize situation? Oh, this is so funny. So her, hi her husband plays in NFL. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you think he plays safety for the Texans, I think. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know him, so I don't know if he's good or not. Have so you all what? seen the clip? Oh, man, so, so you was really the catch in... I always say we, the men are catch, man. I always say we the catch, man. That's yeah, right. So she really booked you. She did, though. She is did, what you though. said. Cause I, I was fighting it. I was fighting it. So I was you, fighting it. So in truth, if I say this out loud, was Jonathan Owens ain't really want Simone Biles. Is that, what you said. <laughs> that's, that's what you're not going to say that. That's what you're saying. I was afraid. I was, I was afraid to commit. I'm like, ah, I'm... Man, it's my it's my third year, you know. I'm trying to ah, I'm like it's kind of early, but you know, like I said, man, it happened. Nick, we like, hit it off instantly, you know. I mean, so. Shorty's right there, right? Yeah, yeah. Right there. yeah. it's my third year. I'm trying to, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's honest, though. He's being yeah, honest. Yeah. I didn't think it was that bad. That's blown out of proportion. Yeah, but do you honestly think he didn't know who she was? I, his story kind of adds up, but you're like, dude, you play sports. You never. You didn't say you didn't have ESPN. Mm. She was all over ESPN. She was everywhere. You really didn't know who she was? I believe whatever that man says. He's a good-looking guy. <laughs> He's a handsome motherfucker. Yeah. Handsome thirsty, guy. huh? <laughs> Simone's thirsty. That's great. Right? DMing like crazy, doing it. She was thirsty. Yeah, oh, absolutely. And he was showering. Like, I'm going to go shower. I'm going to go chill. Like, he was, was he wasn't pressed. Confident black woman that knew what she wanted. The fuck would you know? Why you have such a problem with that? Why you hate that so much? I love much? it. I support it. I support black love. Mm. And people trying to tear him down, isn't that sad? Exactly. You always go one sentence too far. You really do. <laughs> he really fucking does. You always you just shot yourself in the foot with that one, dude. Uh, Black Christian women, can you pray for Al? <laughs> pray that Al comes back to us. <laughs> to us. Pray, pray that Al comes back to us. Uh, Motherfucker's too far gone, man. Miss you, bro. <laughs> Genuinely miss you. Shut up. Yo, I miss you, bro. <laughs> Come on, let me miss you. So what do you think the reaction was? Why was everyone all about? Everybody's on? upset. You know, it kind of reminds me of, remember when Meghan Markle was like, I just didn't know what, like, mm. the royal, I didn't know who Harry was, Prince Harry. I didn't know it was, like, such a thing. And it's like, mm. yeah, yeah, yes, yes, you fucking did, dude. Yeah. This is the same energy. It's not as egregious, but it's the same, like, yes, you did. Yeah. You fucking knew who Simone Biles was. Yeah. I don't watch the Olympics. I know who Simone Biles is. Yeah, same. You 100% knew. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or at least was aware enough. I believe he's a catch, though. That motherfucker's handsome. Oh, he's a catch. He's a catch. He's a catch. You've seen the hairline? I don't know if he's the catch. He's damn sure a catch. Hairline, fantastic. <laughs> Is he good at football? I don't know. I don't know the safety for the Texans, if he's good or not. I mean, he's been in the league for a few years, so he can't be bad. I mean, it's more rare. Uh, this is going to be rough. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> this is a bumpy one. You're ahead. But now. it's true. <laughs> it's harder for a girl to lock down a football player than it is for a guy to uh, give a fuck about gymnastics. <laughs> he said it at the end. At the end, it made sense. <laughs> My point is like her success is not necessarily something that guys are looking for when they're trying to find a mate. They're like, I want an Olympian. I want a gymnastics Olympian. That's interesting. So the metric- like, We don't care. Like, so the but him playing in the NFL- might be something that women are curious about. So what you're trying into. to say, for real this time, I think. Is He's you, the catch. You gotta look at it. <laughs> he is the catch. You gotta look at it through the lens of what they're attracted to. That's what, that's it. He's the catch. There are a million. Because women are attracted to talented men. Men don't really care about, no matter how talented you are, it's cool, it's a bonus, but it's not something we're gonna be like, oh, I need a girl that's super talented at XYZ. 
Mm. Whereas if you're very talented and anything's a man, you do have value to women. Like, for example, if your girl was nice at basketball and she could beat you, I'm not that's marrying a detriment. Her. I'm not marrying her. <laughs> that you're out of your fucking mind, dude. That wild hurts her. Yeah. Okay, if you get those wild on. races, what you just said. <laughs> 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 Why are you so racist over there? Son, I'm just saying. Yeah. If she's That's nice the one I'm gonna get back. at basketball, bro, <laughs> a black Christian woman, if she's <laughs> nice at basketball, you know Al's not gonna be with her at all. Yeah. No, uh, but for real, I, yeah, it's that he is the catch. What he has is more rare and more coveted by women than what she has. That doesn't mean what she has is more amazing. rare standing alone. I don't know. Because what she has is more rare. She's yeah. the greatest at her thing. No, I, I'm saying only in terms of attraction. Yeah, but in terms of, yeah, for for what we're attracted to, yeah, we don't. We're just more attracted to looks and yeah, personality. It's like course, Sex in the City. That girl that does the writing. What's her name? Carrie or whatever. Yeah, Carrie Bradshaw. Oh, Bradshaw. Carrie, Carrie. Nobody Carrie. care about your blog, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like no one cares. No, Aiden don't care. Aiden's the men don't care. Furniture. Women care. Mr. Big don't care. My man's in the markets. Go write your little articles about where you went out to eat. No one cares. <laughs> Don't Men know. don't care. Don't Women care. When Men you're performing aren't... at the top of your field, like Beyonce, people cared about. But Beyonce like, was gorgeous already. Simone Biles, beautiful girl, but it's a bonus. That's what I'm saying. I, guess I don't what... like the way you said that. Yeah, because I, I said like, <laughs> yeah, you did. You did. I said gorgeous. Yeah, she's she's alright. Yeah, you did yeah, call. Like... You did call Simone Biles ugly, which is fucked up. That was <laughs> look, that was was fucked up. What look, you I said. just when Simone, Simone Biles was an Olympian, she was under eighteen, so I didn't really look at her with that lens. Maybe Alex did. For sure, but I just didn't look at her like that. Yeah. Yeah. He went nukes nah, he's again. Slithering. He's slithering. Stop putting a mark on me, bro. Don't put that. Why you you bring up all he does to this guy? That's all he does to Yeah, Mark. but you busted out the Bianca Sensoris right there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't have to bust out the Bianca. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, the internet is wrong once again. That, that's all I'm trying to say. Why can't the they both be catches, though? Here's the thing. They I think Simone there. Biles is probably a catch because yeah. she's probably an awesome girlfriend, incredibly sweet, kind, loving, mm -hmm. and they spent time during together during COVID, which is probably beneficial. They get to meet each other, really know each other without all the distractions of you know going out, you're on the road nonstop, et cetera. That's probably what makes her the catch, and that's why he went, I don't need to be fucking around for years in the league when I actually have something that's that special. Genuinely believe that. But her being a gymnast, like, like if Dove came back one fucking day and he was like, yo, man, I met this girl. She's like the best billiards player in the world. <laughs> Does she sit on it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, 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 it wouldn't be like a thing that, that, that makes oh, us go, oh my no. God. That's it's hard. just, that's how we're wired. What do you think most guys are impressed by? If she was the best billiards player in the world or if she was just a regular like Sports Illustrated swimsuit model? Regular Sports Illustrated swimsuit model. That's also not regular, but now, yeah. What about like the greatest, like greatest volleyball player in the world? Regular Sports regular. Illustrated. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Uh, let me take it back. Not only regular Sports Illustrated, regular girl that has a consulting job. Yeah, a, a counselor. That is hotter than the six foot four behemoth volleyball <laughs> player yeah. that is the best Absolutely. one. Absolutely. That's true. Yeah. Now, they're per we're not talking about personality. Yeah. Personality is what shifts all this shit. Personality is longevity. If your personality is ass, then after the weekend, it's fucking done. Well said. That's it. So personality shifts every single thing that's going on here. I think Simone was so special outside of her achievements that, that make us think that she's special mm. that he was like, nah, I got to give up what should be his fuck years, his dog years. Mm. My man is paid, got millions of fucking dollars, and he's in the NFL. He's the catch. Yeah, that's true. Loki, her, her reaction, though, makes it seem like she's also the catch. That she was like, she was so confident, wild confident. She's smiling. Yo, Cause she's that girl. Crazy. She probably makes more than him. Low key. Of course, yes, bro. I'm, I'm sure. sure. Simone Biles. She is the catch. I mean, they're both catches. That's the thing. But again, we're saying just it's by like the, Jay -Z, standards, Beyonce. the standards men are attracted to versus the, or the things men are attracted to versus the things women are attracted to. Mm -hmm. You're talking about things that objectively or whatever to women for sure. Oh, he, she makes more money. What a catch. Oh, she's the greatest to ever do her field. What yeah. a catch. Men aren't attracted to necessarily. It's bonus. It's all great. But oh, these bonus. are all okay. bonus things. Oh, you're the greatest ever and you're beautiful and awesome. Oh my God. Beautiful and awesome is the main thing. Beauty opens this is a the bonus. door. Yeah. Beauty opens the door. I Kindness, I, I personality, care, concern, curiosity. Which I'm sure she creates has. Longevity. So she got it. But there's a lot of beautiful girls that are out there. There's like 
too many. Like, do you ever hit the explore page and you just see another one of the hottest girls you've ever seen in your life and you're like, oh, this is regular. <laughs> Like, are they even hot? They're, that's just what women look like. <laughs> this is just what women look. There's like trillions it's of an them. an astonishing number of hot it's women. It's crazy. It's astonishing. Yeah. So that doesn't make you the catch. Being hot, having no father figure, mm. throat crazy wide. <laughs> yeah. Salivary <laughs> glands disappeared. Go on. No, no. Added more. Oh, no, yeah, you got yeah, donation. Yeah, yeah. You got, you got, you got Gypsy yeah, Rose's sal salivary <laughs> glands <laughs> sewn into your neck. <laughs> <laughs> That's fire. Under your tongue. Is that an elective surgery? Could you get that? <laughs> yep. Extra saliva? Yes, you can. From a donor. There's a lot of girls that do it, especially the ones with, with the wider necks and they have shows on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> you get your grandma's old salary glands? That's fire, dude. <laughs> oh, I love that. Uh, okay, guys, but let's just, let's listen. I think we owe, I think we owe Simone Biles an apology. I think y'all do. Yeah, I, need I, to, yeah, I need to put some more respect on Simone Biles. That's what I hear. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't think we objectified her enough is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that we paid enough attention to her beauty. Is that what he's trying to say? No. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Wait, you tell me. Is what... I think what he's trying to say is he just really respects someone who's a, a, like a perfectionist at their craft and achieved it at the highest yeah, levels. Yeah, yeah. And we need to put respect on that. Yeah. I don't think we put enough respect on Simone Biles and... How talented of a human oh, being. Nah, okay. I was saying yeah. she's a piece. Okay. <laughs> and that's what we should, like right now we're just talking about her accomplishments and we're ignoring the fact that she's kind of a piece. Don't yes. talk about she's the yams, bro. She's kind of a joint. Don't talk about the yams. Joint. Don't talk about the yams. I'm not going to talk about the yams. I'm not going to disrespect she, her in that way, but she's kind of a joint, you joint, which also can make her a catch. Not these gold medals and how many backflips you can do. Hey, my, um, you know my girl uh, can do the palma vault. <laughs> Or whatever that shit is called, Palma Horse. What is it called? <laughs> Palma, Palma Horse. horse. Palma Horse. Palma Horse. I know, but that's, that's do, do women guys, do that? That's girls men, do the right? vault. The vault, whatever, like that. That we don't care about them things. But what we do care about is <laughs> them how things. Vault on <laughs> things. <laughs> that's good. That was good. That was good. Balance beam. All right. So listen, man. Um, Louis Vuitton is selling prosthetic leg boots and Oscar Pistorius is out. Tell me that that isn't genius <laughs> branding and partnerships. How has right that there. not been brought together? It's right there. I mean, come on, yo. Explain this. Is it a sock that you put on? Like, I'm so... It's like a boot. So, like, leather. So, this is like uh, like some leather or pleather or whatever. And then you wear it. I wonder if they got a wearing a picture in here. Let me try to find it. But, yeah, you wear it and then it looks like it's your leg and you're wearing, like, a cutesy little high heel. But it's really a boot. Hmm. I just don't get it. I don't, well, it is a high I, don't, heel. I don't hate it. Why? Please explain. Yeah. It is a high heel. So I you mean, are wearing just, a cutesy high heel. You just got someone else's skin around your calf. Yeah. What's the? Yeah. I'm honestly asking, what's the appeal? You can sell me. This is what happens just, when Christians stop making making shit. <laughs> this was not made by Christians. You don't think that was crafted French, by? Bro, that's yeah. A Christian nation. Nah, that's but EU. they had they had someone else doing it. They had someone else doing it. <laughs> who? Who was doing it? I don't even. I don't want to say. Mm. Who doesn't want to show leg skin? Oh. 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 Let me see it when somebody wearing it. Ooh. So that's the boot right there, right? Damn, they made <laughs> the white one pale as fuck, bro. Uh, God that damn. Looks I mean, this look it so looks stupid. It's unbelievable. They don't know all y'all whites wear them fucking bronzers and shit. Kind of cool with the shorts, I'll be honest. Bro. I, with that's the what I'm saying. Cool. Like, with the skirt, the short is starting to look better. It's not that bad. Like Miles, just, Miles, mm. Miles tapped in. Yeah. <laughs> Miles said he liked it. He back. Yep. I like legs. How you feel about the black leg. boot, though? Yeah, I know. He just likes the white yeah. woman getting whiter. No, I like legs. That's extra leg. That's awesome. You're into legs? You yeah. a leg guy? Yeah. I thought you were into super fat fucking Bianks. You can be into both. You can be into both. That's the cool part. You want leg, but ass, nothing. You don't want ass at all. Nah. Just grew. Yeah, lower back. You, you just, want a girl that has like guru? Yeah, that's the most racist you've been on this podcast. No, I've been way worse. <laughs> <laughs> I've done better than that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, oh, boys. Remember, these are kind of fire. What else we got? I know we got some oh, things that we got to discuss. I mean, there's the Epstein client list. Did the so fucking list started. drop yet? <laughs> I mean, Clinton's definitely exonerated, right? Yeah, of course. 
But apparently he's going to be on there a couple times. That's the word, that's what the word saying. Yeah, but they were just saying how he's innocent. I still don't understand how you could just choose to not have your name well, out there. You well, you can petition thing. the judge. Yeah, you can petition. If you want your name on there, it's because in some way it liberates you. Yeah. That was yeah. Dershowitz. So Dershowitz was like, yo, put yeah. my shit on. And for years he was like, yo, release the files. He was like one of the big proponents of it. Yeah. Because it's going to make him look better. Because he was like, same. look, you'll Clinton see. Clinton apparently same. No accusations. I knew Clinton was innocent. Yeah. How'd you know? Because I like them. <laughs> if I like somebody, I want yeah. them to be innocent yeah. so I don't have to stop liking them. That's, That's exactly. a good point. I don't think he was going to the island. I think he was on the plane. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You saw yeah. RFK Jr. say he was on the plane. What is that? It's so funny. Oh, did RFK come he out? He was with the Waters. What's the guy from Fox? Jesse Waters. Yeah, Jesse Waters. Yeah, and yeah. they were like, you were never on Epstein's plane. He was like, look, I got to be honest. I've been on the plane twice. One time to go visit my mother in Florida. The other time to do a weekend fossil hunting expedition with my children. <laughs> I was like, fossil hunting? Yo, you've taken your kids on that guy's fucking plane? But he said it was in the 90s. It was before yeah, it was everyone knew it was in going In the 90s, on. before. Thank God. But that was an insane weekend activity with his kids, fossil hunting, which is all, that's the opposite of pedophilia, I think. It's just looking for fossils, old shit. Yo, <laughs> like, I'm looking for the oldest thing That's a great point. Ever. True. But it's also that's so true. funny to go fossil hunting as like a weekend activity. It's just this is what rich people do, yeah. man. They gotta invent new the, shit. Rich. It's getting boring. <laughs> this blew my mind. It's that's, getting boring. Did you know that was a thing to do? Catholics. I'm just saying, I don't want to, it's cat. that's Catholics. That does sound like some Catholics. Also, that is Catholics. Christians would never do that. What do you mean? Christians don't do that. Joel Osteen wouldn't do that? Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Is he Christian? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean to tell me? Wait, Joel Osteen? <laughs> that guy's a Christian? Yeah, yeah, Nah, nah, shout out to, um, shout out to RFK, man. We yeah. need RFK on the pod, bro. We just got to find some way to do something to his fucking voice. I don't know if I could listen to that <laughs> shit for two and a half hours straight. What would we do? Yep. What is something that we can do? Give him a cough drop. Yep. Clear it right up. Mm -hmm. Now, now, hold on now. Mm -hmm. I I think he may have tried that. I don't think so. You don't think he's ever tried? Has any of you have been? Has he had tried this? Seen him? <clears throat> yeah. Has he tried that? Yeah. That might work. <laughs> yeah. try that, one. that probably works. You guys are fucking assholes, dude. <laughs> I think that would work. You guys are jerks. Could man. work. I can't believe what you just said. <laughs> what do you use for a sore throat, Andrew? Cock. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> You just hurt his feelings really bad. Cock was really good. You just, so you just, short. you just really, <laughs> so, you just really hurt good. his feelings really bad. This guy's really mean. His, his feelings. Cock was good. Cock was good. Fast. Now he's all cock. bad out of shape, like a gay guy. Because his I feelings mean, are hurt. Why did he tend to die? That guy's so mean. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy how mean you are. Dude. Wait, you didn't deny it. Here I am, <laughs> furiously searching for our next topic, <laughs> and you're just taking pot shots at me nonstop. Now his feelings are all hurt, bro. Come on. Oh, it's just so fucking disrespectful. Come on, Alex. All right, what did Keith Lee say about uh, New York's food? Oh, man. Where did we rank? Oh, man. Last. Nah, it's not nah, playing. He wasn't last. He wasn't last. Oh, not. Atlanta was last. I think Sorry. we were seven. Atlanta yeah, was Atlanta last. Was. And I don't blame him because he got bad wrecks. New Orleans? New Orleans? Fine. Uh, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Nobody's pushing back on that. Houston? Uh, yeah, I could see that. I, I might flip two and three. I love Chicago as a food city, but yeah, Houston's great food. Texas. I mean, we were just in Chicago. Shouts to everybody who came out to the shows. Appreciate y'all. That was fucking awesome. Uh, but uh, but nah, Chicago's not even coming close to New York when it yeah. comes to food. It's not even. Like, what are they? Like, they know you know what I was thinking about? Because honestly, New York does have great food, but it has a lot of good, like, foodie food. Like, a refined, like, cuisine. Like, fine dining and stuff. Mm -hmm. He's going mm. to, like, mom and pop shops. And also, there's so many mom and pop shops in pop, like in New York that you're probably just kind of choosing. You don't really know exactly where to go. Yeah. Everybody, everybody got their own bodega that they like. So he's just going off recommendations. And I, I love Texas. If I go home to Dallas, it's all fucking franchises. It's nauseating. So the mom and pop shops, the sh uh, shops that last are like, oh, these are great. Mm. These stand out. You got to go there. Those are going to slap. Mm -hmm. So I think that might be why New York ranked low. Ran of, like, now this is, he's ranking... These places based on what His he experience. experienced. And exactly. he says that. He's like very like, I'm not saying it's bad. I just didn't have as good an experience. I may not have gotten good recs, whatever. He like yeah, then buffers I, it then all. And I'm fine with yeah. the list. Like it, okay you'll come back and then he'll do uh, you know, go to some other places. He did a salmon, what was it, salmon egg and cheese or whatever? No, nah, salmon, salmon chopped, chopped cheese. cheese. Yeah, crazy. Salmon chopped cheese. That's have crazy. you ever even heard of that? I mean, it's just crazy. Somebody set him up. Yeah. He did get yeah, he did get a uh, okie doke. I just bit. never knew so. Vegas was really known for good food. Right? It's not. 
It's not. But again, he goes, <laughs> yeah, it's and it's not even. I just never heard anybody say Nobody's that. ever said yeah. that once. I wouldn't even life. make it reflective of the city's food. I would just make it reflective of the small businesses that are there that stand out. Yeah. Because he's getting Rex. Small business. Again, you're getting, if you say you're going to New York and where should I eat? And a million people listen to this pod. They're going to send you a million different recommendations. Yeah, that's true. If you say I'm going to Vegas, you're going to get a million recommendations. There's going to be like four places to stand out over and over again. Yo, can I ask you a question? Yeah, yeah. go ahead. What's up with, um. Why can't Ja Morant shoot into the crowd? Well, well might kill somebody. last year he was he had charges with like gun charges that was a suspension from the league. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we understand that part. So, but he's just doing a dance. I, I, it's I stupid said. to I do, agree. but I think people are making too big of a deal out of it. One hundred percent. It's just a dance. Now he has to be aware that he's contributed to this. Yeah. But, you're not uh, you're not guilt free. It's stupid to do. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, like it is just a celebration that people do. Yeah, I feel like he's not the only one. But the reason it's getting headlines, obviously, is because of the thing. Because he yeah, fucked yeah. up. And he would do it in real life. <laughs> like an idiot. That was <laughs> one of the dumbest things to do ever. Yeah, yeah. He did he'd do that with real guns multiple yeah. times. <laughs> but I yeah. kind of like the taunting now. It's like, I'm back now. Yeah, I'm, right? I'm, I'm the bad guy. Yeah, it's like, kind of funny. Yeah. I kind of like the taunting. If OJ goes back in the league, does a stabbing celebration? Like, you can't tell him people wouldn't go crazy fire. Oh, they would go. <laughs> I mean, Berserk. Imagine, imagine the glove. takes a cheerleader, That's fucking grabs her fire. by the neck. Yeah. Wild. <laughs> Wild, right? Yeah, you got to <laughs> lean into the character, I guess. Yeah. Do some WWE. Yeah, I guess so, but this ain't... He, there's no. You got to do the face turn at some point. Uh, uh, listen, it's the worst thing that he could possibly do. Yeah, I bought a, his sneakers, by the way. Oh, while we're talking about sports, let's do our prize picks for the week, baby. What you got? All right. So the, I'm I'm strategic these days. I don't know if I like that. Yeah, I know. It's not gut thing. It's not the thing that made gut. you all the money I on think Bitcoin. You need gut. I think you need gut. All right, but I believe this though. I think I got this. Okay. Miami is playing Buffalo. Miami is gonna is very good at home. They both need to fight for a playoff spot right now. It's a big matchup. Huh. But I got Devin A. Chain getting more yards. I got Tua Tagovailoa, the quarterback, more. I just don't believe in Buffalo. And Miami's a different team at home. I also, Baker Mayfield is fighting for a playoff spot against the literal worst team in the league. I got Baker Mayfield more. And as a bonus, George Pickens, he's going to get more yards at Pittsburgh. I think he's an underrated receiver. I think they've been underprojecting his yards to like 56 and a half. I think George Pickens more. It's all Moore's. I'm liking this. I know you're saying it's not gut, but I think it is gut. Yo, let's put, yo, put, a, put $10 down. Price picks are going to multiply the fuck out of it if you get all That's four. right. They're going to match your initial deposit up to 100 bucks. If you, okay? Yeah. Simple as that. You go to prize pick. You use the code Schultz. Prizepicks.com. Use the code Schultz, S-C-H-U-L-Z. They're going to match your initial deposit up to $100. You put in $100, they put in $100. You take the Akash Singh locks mm. and you generate some real revenue. We know it's the first of the new year. You spend all your money on Christmas presents. Spent all your money on a crazy new year party. Time to get a little bit more in your pockets and let prize picks do it for you. Now let's get back to the show. Yeah, I bought his sneakers, by the way. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, to play paddle. His, his, did you know John Marine came out with paddle sneakers? Yeah. No, really? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> They're basketball, but I use them for paddle. Mm. Incredibly dynamic shoe. Toe box a little bit too tight. More than one time, threw them out. <laughs> I have to find. I have to find my perfect paddle sneaker. <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. But great. I supported John Moran. <laughs> great endorsement for his shoe. No, the shoe was fire, and but the toe box is very tight. This guy's me. a Cinderella of, of paddle. You know that, right? <laughs> I need the perfect slipper. <laughs> He's I need my perfect slipper. I'm yeah. trying to get the Kobe's. I think the Kobe's might be great. You know what my paddle shoe is going to be? The new D books. Mm. Did you see the D books, the shattered backboard uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. colorway that came out? Yeah, the, or the they didn't even come out. He wore them in the game, but those will be my paddle shoe. Mm. I need a little more cushion. Anyway, listen, I don't want to divert. Uh, you know, I don't want to talk about something that I'm incredibly passionate about, like paddle. Mm. Those are fire. For a basketball shoe, you, you got to compare it. Like, imagine what LeBron's look like. Imagine oh, what, okay. like, to me, it's the most normal looking basketball shoe out now. Basketball shoes have gotten so wonky. That I can, yeah, but I'm not looking at that like it's a street shoe I would wear. That not at all. This is an athletic for a true sport like paddle. Mm. <laughs> Still the greatest basketball sneaker of all time, bro. I cannot get enough. Yeah, I, I'm obsessed with I these. I miss shoes. basketball shoes that went up to the ankle. Like these right here, bro. This is nasty work. Right? Kobe changed Kobe's. that whole shit. You know that? What do you mean? So Kobe was talking to like soccer players and he's like, why don't they ever... Uh, you heard the story? And they're like, why don't they ever turn their ankle? And that kind of stuff. And there's every basketball reasons. shoe was high top before that. These were, this is the reason he left Adidas, I think. 
This Kobe just, twos, everybody hated. I mean, Adidas dropped the ball. Look how yeah. absolutely disgusting these sneakers <laughs> are. Unreal. Yeah. Doesn't look like you should pull the sneaker out of that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. It looks like a Cybertruck. Yeah. yeah. That is awesome. Uh, but yeah, basketball sneakers were always high top before that. There was never a low top. And then, and then the argument was that that little fabric up there isn't really going to do anything to protect your ankle. Which is what we thought it was. We, yeah, and I think it was just like maybe that kind of a, and then you know, he, that mental security. Yeah, like yeah. you were saying, he was like, well, soccer players have low tops. They never turn their ankle. Now, so, there's reasons for that, too. It's like when they're pushing off of something, that thing also moves. Mm, so the grass, yeah. the dirt can yeah, move if you're doing a really hard cut. Whereas on basketball... Once you reach the end of the sneaker, if you still need to push, there's only one thing that can happen. Yeah. And what happens a lot of times in basketball is you turn your ankle coming down on someone's foot. In soccer, unless you're like on the line jumping for something, there's not as much like and th this landing been, on feet. This could have been sales at the time, just like doing marketing. But I remember Bill Simmons wrote an article back in the day and he was saying, he talked to a guy at Nike that he was just cool with. And they were like, Kobe worked with us so much to get a low top basketball sneaker. If he wasn't so obsessive about it, Never would have worked. Wow. Like he, and there's like something on the side that like comes out on low top basketball sneakers. And he was the guy that helped yeah. figure that out. That, and that will protect from the roll. Yeah. Because what I realized with some um, running sneakers is if you do a hard stop and running, running sneakers are made for going straight. Mm -hmm. They're not made for side to side movements. Basketball, you go on side to side. Somebody tries to cross you, step to defend. If your sneaker can allow you to roll over, that's going to be what happens. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the, uh, those early Kobe's, the bottom of the sneaker would almost like extend a little bit mm. on the outside of the foot for that reason. Yeah. So you didn't just kind of roll over naturally like you would on some dunks or some shit. You know what you need, honestly, probably tennis shoes. So the t problem with tennis shoes, and I know that this is absolutely scintillating conversation that the, 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 the <laughs> flagrant asshole army absolutely loves because they're all obsessed with paddle or should be. God bless you all. I hope you learn this and, and, and take this into your life. I, I feel like it's a gift from Lord and Savior for me to have this. And, but tennis shoes have almost no padding on the bottom. And I wonder if that this is like part of uh, being more explosive. Like you want to be as close to the ground as possible. Oh, I have a pair that don't look good, but they, I do think they're pretty padded. They have a bubble? No bubble, but they're pretty padded. So the ones that, that we have, I've been using like some Adidas ones or whatever, and it's just hard and very close to the ground. My suspicion was with tennis, you need to be moving immediately. You might not even have that split second for the cushion to absorb and then, and then go. Whereas basketball, there's so much jumping, you want a little bit of cushion for your knees, a little bit of cushion for your ankles. So, but uh, so, but they're kind of uncomfortable, and I don't like them. There's two I would look into. Rafael Nadal has a, Nike, a set of Nikes, and then also I think Roger Federer was he's like owns part of that on mm -hmm. running company. Yeah, and he played tennis in those. I assume if they're running sneakers, they also should be padded. He was with Nike too, right? He was with Nike, then left because he got a piece of on, and he made right. fucking that crazy money, up. crazy yeah. money. But uh, yeah, that might be one to look into, whatever he played with. It's crazy to start a sneaker cut. Like, I feel like that's the hardest market to get into. Unbelievable lift. Just any sneaker you mean? Like, creating a sneaker company, I feel like, is the hardest market to get into because for a sneaker company to gain our respect, especially men, it is next to impossible. Mm -hmm. You got to have a cool factor. And if you can't break into that, yeah. it's like your payless shoes. Literally, yeah. we just view you as Payless. Like, if you're not attached to something, so obviously having Federer is like a huge qualifier, but like, or I think there was that company Bird Dogs that, that got yeah. into the tech sector yeah. a bit. popped off. And hey, then, hey Dudes, have you seen the Hey Dudes? Mm, man, are you fucking with no, me? No, this, no, no, this no. is a real, a real company. Hey Dudes are like- So sincere. <laughs> no, you know there was a show called Hey Dude when we were growing up. Yeah. What is that? Oh, yeah, I was on Nickelodeon. Hey Dude, oh, this hey, dude suck, in your Yeah, mouth. let me suck your dick. <laughs> Hey, dude, let me put me. Don't nah, try to. Don't try to. Hey, dude, try to fast. Don't talk you over try. It. No, you he didn't want to get got. got. Let me put your that dick in my mouth. Crazy, that was crazy. Hey, dude, I'll put your dick in my ass. That was crazy. Bro. That was a good assist right there. Hey, bro. That was good. We out here. Star Boys. <laughs> but uh, hey, dudes are insanely popular in South. Like, like you, I went back to Florida and everyone's wearing hey dudes, bro. Everybody. I, I think like, it's easier to make a lifestyle shoe versus like one that a $200 oh, million dollar athlete shit. is going to risk rolling their feet. Like He's just wild the, the baller brand explosive shoes. Exactly. 100%. Yeah, yeah, you can't take that risk. They just bit off Wallabies. Off then. Wallabies and Clarks. These yeah. are horrible. These you are some of the ugliest shoes I ever seen in my life. Company? But there's no sneaker culture in Florida. Like, Who bought the company? Uh, Crocs. Yeah. 
Crocs. They wear sandals. They don't know anything. But Big Baller Brand came really close until until their sneaker didn't work. Yeah, <laughs> but if it worked, they might have had it. Yeah, because they was, to was enter a lot athletic of sneaker wear. Mm-hmm. Like is so what was the last one? Hard. What was the last one? Hoka is crazy. Oh, yeah. Hoka, Hoka, Hoka clapped. Off, so, dude. so here's the thing about the, the about running. Running people take so serious and is so specific that you all if you offer some sort of technological advantage what in the Hoka? space, you've seen them. They're like yeah, kind yeah, of what's fat. the technological? There's this fat ass. Yeah, just it's foam. literally just, I think, the cushion of the soul and tricks people into believing that this is going to be easier on your knees for yeah. long distance running. They also have zero drop. They also have like rounded. So What's zero drop mean? Zero drop uh, is the drop between. Zero drop. This. <laughs> no. Oh, oh zero, zero <laughs> drop these balls in your mouth. Uh, Come on. It's just the distance, like the millimeters between your heel and your f- front of your foot. Oh, so it doesn't tilt down yeah, in any way. It doesn't God. tilt down. Anyway. They're just like some teched out running shoes. And because people spend so much time running and take it so seriously, that can work. The on shit became like a casual shoe. Yeah. yeah. They on also it. did some sports shit. But to get into the sneaker market, we are so, um, what is it called? Prejudice to any new brand. Because cool is such a factor. So the, you know who did it for a second and one? Oh, yeah. oh, they had it. They bro. did it for a second. They had it. And it's hard to be a cool and athletic sneaker. And they were rivaling fucking Adidas, Reebok, and Nike in the basketball yeah. sector before that shit fell apart. Oh, Solomon cracked off. Solomon. Running. They, yeah. I, they hit as a uh, casual sneaker. Mm-hmm. Core. Yeah, but it's like, I think what happened I was like, even, yeah, I don't know. I've you've seen, seen the boots. Them. But you, like you've seen the you'll bring no, them up. like bike the biking shoes. They almost look like a rock climbing, climber. Yeah, 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 they look like a climbing shoes. But I, those didn't have any cool associated with them. But I think me. what basically happened was is that like cool sneakers, the rejection of quote unquote cool sneakers, yeah. dunks or you know an Air Force One or whatever like that. New Balance. Yeah, is almost dad sneakers or exercise yeah. sneakers, and these started to become really popular as fashion rejected the quote unquote traditional cool. Mm. Cause that's like, you would only see on a suburban dad going for a hike. Yeah. yeah. And then what happened? Like all the suburban dad shoes, the Monarchs popped off, like all that dad core. Dude, the New Balances, the ones that I used to run yes. with cause I thought they were good for knees. Those, the 990s or whatever, those became, yep. and everybody used to see my shoes and be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> so I think we just started to- your time, bro. I, I always am, dude. You are the trendsetter, bro. I am the trendsetter. Once a day, oh, 20 years from now, hoodies that don't fit, Got him. <laughs> Got him. Neckline crooked. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because your soap sucks. You stink. You smell like ass. Okay? And uh, lucky for you, Dr. Squatch has got your back, your balls, your pits, your feet, everything. Dr. Squatch is an awesome soap. It's 98% natural, which means that there's no harmful ingredients, okay? Dr. Squatch soap will have you looking, smelling, and feeling your best in and out of the shower. The smells on, on this soap are incredible. I mean, personally, I love the Birchwood Breeze. I mean- Birchwood Breeze, fantastic. It's amazing. Also, the Fresh Falls. Fresh Falls fire. Incredible. Right now, Dr. Swatch is offering our listeners huge savings. Listen, you need a nice bar of soap. Ladies, pay attention to these things, fellas. They pay, they pay attention. You walk in, she's looking at your sink. You got the Irish Spring Sport with four pubic hair sticking out of it. She goes, this guy doesn't care. This guy doesn't care that I'm here. This guy doesn't care I'm in the building. If the, she sees Dr. Squatch, you have medical grade soap and then flavors that you don't even know what they are. Birchwood, you don't even know what that is. That woman's gonna go, wow, this is a man of class. This is a man of luxury. This is gonna be a man that I need to give all of my orifices to. And then when I'm finished, I will clean those orifices with the Dr. Squatch. It's it's an amazing situation that you're in. And right now, all new customers will get three free bars of soap, plus free shipping with any purchase of three bars. You just go to drsquatch.com. That is D-R-S-Q-U-A-T-C-H.com slash flagrant to receive this buy three, get three offer, okay? It is as simple as that. Buy three soaps, get three free. It's time to get all the daily routine essentials you'll need to start feeling good and smelling like a man today. Now let's get back to the show. All right, guys, we're gonna take a break real quick because in life, there are certain bad habits that we can't mention because of YouTube rules and we don't wanna break them and get banned. And if you have that bad habit, you need to check out Fume. Okay, they look at the problem in a different way. Instead of quitting cold turkey, which is incredibly hard, why not just make your bad habit a good habit? 
Fume is an innovative, award-winning flavored air device that just that does just that. Like I said, it's flavored air instead of vapor. Instead of electronics, it's completely natural. <laughs> natural. And instead of using harmful chemicals, Fume uses delicious flavors. You get what I'm saying. Instead of bad, it's good. It's a habit that you are free to enjoy that makes replacing your bad habit easy. Your Fume right here comes with an adjustable airflow dial. You hear that click? Design movable parts and fidgeting. It's very satisfying for any anxiousness you might be feeling, just getting it out. I probably ruined the audio for the last three seconds, but I felt good while I was doing it. Anyway, Fume is the move. And if you have this bad habit, you gotta check this out. It's got a nice weight to it. Look at that walnut looking finish. I don't know what wood that is. I'm not a real man, but it looks beautiful. This right here is the Solano. Gorgeous, weighted, nice carbon fiber looking ass tip. Fantastic, slightly softer finish. And right now is the best time, truly the best time to start your good habit with Fume. All orders, listen to this, all orders between January 1st and the 14th have buy one, get one cores. So you can stock up on all your cores, all the flavor that you, all the flavors that you want stuck up is buy one, get one free. Plus, because it's flagrant and we always hook y'all up, you will get an extra 10% off when you use our code. So head to tryfume.com slash flagrant and use the code flagrant for an additional 10% off plus BOGO cores until January 14th to help make that bad habit a good habit. Start your good habit. Make starting your good habit easier, guys. If you have the bad habit, if somebody you love has the bad has the bad habit, get them this fume right here. Now let's get back to the show. Oh, Tucker Carlson beefing with Ben Shapiro. What y'all think about it? Mm. You're, explain to me your fascination with Tucker. I think that was a loaded question. <laughs> no, because you said, I mean, I find him interesting. I do find him interesting. Tell me why. I think he's making a really smart play right now. Which is? I think he smells blood in the water with Ben. So again, I think that Tucker and Ben Shapiro and other groups as well are fighting for the same group of people, mm -hmm. right? Let's say, let's be the most generous thing, say middle to the right Americans. Mm -hmm. And... Tucker knows that the Daily Wire is the largest independent version of those people mm -hmm. or the largest independent system that is satisfying those people. Mm -hmm. And those people are conflicted about Israel-Palestine. Ben Shapiro has got to lock in, or maybe he really wants to lock in, but y'all, I'm riding so hard, I'm making every single news story about this. We're going, we have to you know, talk for our people, we gotta speak for our people, et cetera. And I think Tucker is in a position where he's like, I'm gonna use this. He already sees the fan base being segregated on this or separated or whatever the fuck word I'm trying, fractured. Um, Daily Wire's fan base on it. So he's like, I'm gonna use this as an opportunity to scoop up all those people that aren't exactly into the reporting that Ben is doing. Yeah. So no, I think I, that I this is a right wing that. news play. And now that Tucker's in the space, he's like, let me gobble up some stuff and let me see what I can do. Now I he's it's a in smart the move. independent space. Yeah. Yes. And his position on that specifically is like, I'm not emotionally invested in either side. Yeah. I care about well, America. Well, the thing that's Smart really take. interesting is, exactly, it's like, he, what's up? Oh yeah, so the thing that's really interesting about his positioning is he's making, he's framing Ben as if he doesn't care about America by caring about Israel. By caring about either side. Or, Israel or Palestine. Yeah. Israel, exactly. Now, I don't think that, we exist in America as people that can only care about one thing. Yeah. I think it's an unfair framing. I think that you can be an American and Palestinian and care about what's happening in Palestine. I think you can be an American and Jew and care about what's happening in Israel. I think you can be an American and Indian and care about what's happening in fucking India. You can care about these things and you can utilize whatever platform you want to support the things you care about. I think it's one of the most beautiful things about America is that we, you know, bring our culture. We live in a free society where we can bring our past cultures and celebrate them here. You can't do that everywhere. Mm -hmm. You can't go around celebrating your past culture someplace because they'll be like, shut the fuck up, we just do this. Yeah. Now, Tucker said something, oh, my family's been here for hundreds of years. And it's like, okay, yeah, well, if you have no attachment to where you're from and where you're, that's, of course you love America. That's all you have to love. 
you don't know what you are. Yeah. Mm. You don't know if you're from Prussia or you're from Sweden, you're from Norway. If you did, maybe you would feel compelled to speak on them as well. Even that is a branding thing though. It's like I'm American. I'm through so and through. American. I'm so far removed yes. from all that stuff. Yeah. I just can only be American. That's all. I, now, I, you can't have the capacity to care. Absolutely. About. Absolutely. But yeah, I don't I don't like that framing where we can only care about the things here. And also to imply that like if we cared about things in other places, it would take away from the opioid epidemic here. It almost felt a little bit like he was using the opioid crisis yes. as a tool, yes. which I don't like because it's like, Tucker, like you're, you're interviewing the Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> what you doing for the opioid crisis? You're interviewing you know Obama's I mean? like, gay lover. Like, exa- you- yeah, yeah, you had Obama's opioid using gay lover on the pod. Like, so stop <laughs> acting. <you>. So, yeah. <laughs> now yeah. you talk. <laughs> so it's like, so I get, he's, I don't know, I don't, and maybe he has a lot of charity work that he's doing for him. Maybe he's donating money from those podcasts to that, this crisis. But the idea that he would be critical of somebody else using their platform for the things they cared about while he's using his platform for his own interests, I think is a bit hypocritical. Now, he's a sharp dude. Yeah. Tucker's a sharp dude and he's been through the fucking ringer. Like they they came to his house. By they, I mean like people who hated him, protested against, like they showed up at his house with his fucking children. So he's already had mud thrown all over him and he's survived yeah. and continued to thrive. That's a dangerous man. You don't want to fuck with a man like that. Because most people have not experienced the worst of the worst, meaning what the public can do to you. Mm -hmm. Once you've experienced it and you know that you can get past it, bring it on. Like, bring it the fuck on. Now, Ben has also been through that. Ben has been the most hated person on the internet because that was his, before he became like a real journalist, he was just a troll that was like trying to piss black people off every single day. So he's also experienced the ire of the internet. Now he's tried to like reshape his image and been like, why can't we all get along? Even though he spent the majority of his fucking professional life trying to divide as much as he possibly could. Um, But he's making that pivot. So seeing them go after it for the same audience would be quite interesting. I love it. No, dude, white, <laughs> white on white crime. Yeah, that's, that was that's rough. The best. Yeah. <laughs> but I wonder if there's other players that are going to come in too. I wonder if, because Daily Wire was like the only, it's it. It's it. it was it. And now there's going to be some some people that are going, oh, wh- 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 why is there so much attention to this thing that's happening in the place? Listen, we live in New York, in Los Angeles, maybe in Miami, there's going to be a, a hyper focus on what's happening in the Middle East because there are so many people from there. We're talking about Both Palestinians sides. and Jews in these cities, right? Yeah. We were talking to Derek the other day. We're like, yo, is everybody talking about the Middle East? What's going on in the Middle East? He goes, bro, we haven't had one conversation about it at the club. Hmm. One. Now, I don't know if that's all Texas, but if they're not even talking about it amongst friends, it's not even being brought up, not off pod. It might not be a concern to the majority of the country. And if it's not a concern to the majority of the country and you're Ben and you're talking about it every single day because it's something you're passionate about, your audience might start to get to go, whoa, whoa, whoa. Fatigued at the very least. Mm. Was it Ben also beefing with Candace? Candace Owens, yeah. Candace as well. Yep. And, and he can't fire her because he's all free speech. Yeah. So Candace got him by the balls. It's like, you're going to silence me? I thought you're the platform that was erected because we were being silenced. Mm -hmm. Now, the second I disagree with you, you shut me down? Yep. Heavy is the head, y'all. It is. Heavy is the head. It is. Heavy is the head. But I do think that there is a little jockeying going down, and especially with this election, you're going to see them start to pick sides and who they're partnering with. Now, Tucker, it seems he's cozied up with Trump, and they beefed. Yeah. Didn't Tucker shit all over Trump? Now they're hanging out at the fight. This is where I kind of find... So disingenuous is like we know for a fact you were on Fox News praising Trump every day and then texting behind his back or texting off air. I hate this guy. He sucks. He's the worst thing to happen in America. Whatever you were saying. You're just doing the same thing. How do people not see through it? There's certain people. And didn't him, he on air criticize too? Wasn't he very critical? Maybe very the- early. But as soon as it looked like Trump was winning, all of a sudden pro-Trump. Support everything Trump does. He's not at fault for Jan 6 at all. But that's the Fox institution. That's the Fox institution. I would have conversations with those dudes off air and they would tell me all they would be talking shit with, uh, talking shit about Trump. And then the second that fucking camera came on and that green, sorry, that red light popped on, it was just a dick ride marathon. But now you're independent. So I was like, all right, 
Look, I can judge him for saying things he didn't believe to get a check, but we're all hypocritical to a degree, whatever. What I'm saying now, though, is now you're independent. You're just doing the same thing. Yeah. Like, you're independent now. You could go do whatever you want to. There's no boss. You're on your own, and you're just doing the same thing. Freedom of speech. But it's not free speech. It's speech that makes money. Of it's course. speech for profit. Of course, of course. But you can say and whatever you want. I'm not as mad at him as I am curious. The people who bought in again, like the people who keep buying into Ted Cruz as being some authentic whatever. Mm. Like there's just example after example of these guys being disingenuous. Mm. How y'all keep buying? Ben Shapiro, that motherfucker, I believe he believes everything he's saying. Whether I agree or not. What I hear from him, what comes to my, what comes to me, Seems a genuinely, he seems a genuine, Israel, Palestine, he talks about Israel a lot. I believe he believes everything he's saying. Yeah, I, I don't think that, yeah, I, I, the only thing I would say he's disingenuous about is like wanting there to be, uh, the, you know, wanted the country to come together and like be part of what, I think that he cares more about monetizing his base than he does the whole country coming together. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Fair. if the whole country comes together, he can't make movies that are poking fun at, the that's, left. That's he fair. Can't, he's monetizing the ire of the right towards the left. And that's where I guess what I'm doing isn't necessarily fair because, again, I think there are levels of hypocrisy to every human being. Just to me, it's a little worse in some cases. I think the further, the farther end of the spectrum, further, I guess, is Tucker, Ted Cruz, probably AOC or whoever on the left. I'm sure there's people on the left, but like, AOC, how do we just, a, yeah, AOC, I'm, I'm sure not. Tucker would say to this, though, like, yeah, I disagree with him, but I agree with him. And I want him for president, even though we've but had- But you shit on him in private text and public facing, front facing, always praised him. Mm -hmm. Now you're doing the exact same thing. And I don't even know if he's really addressed. I, I used to hate him. Here's where he won me back over. I, I, I didn't see this. I just Googled it. And he was just like, yeah, they raided Mar-a-Lago. That's fucked up. I don't like, there's things that I disagree with, but I'd still be a Trump supporter because you can't, you know, do that. It's bigger than Trump. It's bigger than Biden. I want to live in a free country with a functioning justice system. So, so I'm sure it, he just takes it on political ground. It's it's the same way where, like— uh, People hate Biden. Yeah, it's also like a single-issue voter. Yeah. So I think that Tucker is supporting who he thinks will uh, protect the values, the American values that he cares about. And if it looks like— the Trump administration is going to do that better than Biden or better than DeSantis or better than anybody else. He's like, okay, I'm going to ride with this. Even though there are things that I really don't like, this is paramount. Which I agree on its face is kind of hypocritical, but if you but get into the nuance of it. I just also, find also, that's, that's what most people are. Exactly. For example, like if you're, if you're a Jewish person in America and it looks like the right wing, you know, a part of the American government is more supportive of Israel in this war you might vote Republican easily. Like, for example, I'm sure if there was something with India, if if only the Democrats were supporting India yeah, throughout this thing that you really sure. cared about, yeah. you would at least be open to it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I guess I just, my general feeling, and what you're saying isn't wrong, but my general feeling on him is it's a little, the fraudulent, it seems a little fraudulent to me and it seems more fraudulent than a lot of these guys. Mm -hmm. Like, it just seems a little more desperate when you're bringing on Obama's alleged gay lover who did, like, well, no, that was it's, fire, it's fire, it's fun. But fire. if you're a serious <laughs> journalist, it's a wild that for me fire. to be like, yo, you're a serious journalist. That was fun. I mean, that's important information. If somebody said they sucked the president's dick, you want to talk to him? <laughs> no. Why are you sucking that no. thing so hard right no. when you said that, bro? That if black fume, bro. Yeah. Like, wants to come on here, I would <laughs> But she did, wanted. for a fact. It's been proven. I want to hear what she has to say. Anybody could say I suck the president's dick. So probably a lot of people saying it. A drug using dude. Like, all right, there's no real evidence to support anything you're saying. I'm I hear you. One hour interview. I, I hear you have higher standards for Tucker than he has for himself. Yeah. It, and, yeah. that's, and that's what frustrating for you. Yes. And I feel like we as a people don't really, if a guy says one thing we believe in wholeheartedly, and I'll probably do the same shit. I'm not, who am I to act like I'm so pious? But it just... I'm looking at it objectively because I don't care too much about this. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, eh, it just feels a little gross to me what you're yeah, doing. I can see that. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's got an angle he's playing. Oh, that, I didn't think about that Ben Shapiro shit, but like that's a brilliant angle oh, to yeah. just take market share. That's what this is. I mean, like he came up in the Fox system. He's not a stupid guy. So he knows how they do business. He knows the political chess moves that are, are, are you know, at play. And uh I'm sure that he's applying them to, you know, what he's doing. Where does his show live? Is it X, just I think. he only does X or it's like a private website or? Yeah, but he right. said, I saw him do this in an interview. He's he's going to have advertisers, but also 
keep the subscriber model because he knows at any moment he can lose the subscriber, the, um, the, the advertisers. advertisers. So, yeah, it makes sense. That's why we got the Patreon. See. And he also thinks like a lot from like the Substack community will come up in that independent. I wouldn't be media. surprised if he didn't start, if he didn't start a version of the Daily Wire. Yeah. Like Maybe that's what he's angling for right now. Exactly. And I think that he's positioning Ben, he's framing Ben as if Ben doesn't care about America. And the people that he wants on his side, he wants on his side, are the people that care about America in the way that he wants it to be. Or that he believes they want it to be. That's an unserved I'll give demographic. Him, yeah, I'll give him best case scenario, which is... That's the thing that he has in common. He wants somebody that will literally put America first, cares about American issues, and is going to try to fix American issues and not go fight these census wars abroad. First that's American his, news. Something like that. So I, my that's my assumption and that he would maybe collect some talent around him, partner up with one of these billionaire, you know, Peter Thiel types, you know, get a bunch of money, create another Daily Wire, and now uh, Daily Wire has got some competition. Bingo. <clears throat> I think that that should probably be the move, but he's slow playing it. Smart. He's not just jumping into it. It's like, okay, let me build up this podcast. And he's doing a good job. People are fucking watching. Mm -hmm. He's got some some interviews that are going viral. Mm -hmm. So I mean, each one of these episodes like is doing millions of views. Yeah. Like this one from December 28th, 31 million views. Granted, it's probably inflated on those X, Twitter but, numbers are yeah. But it's like insane engagement. You saw Elon ask Mr. Beast to post on X. Yeah, and then Beast was like. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's got the, the network is called the Tucker Carlson Network and he has eight different verticals within there or like shows. Like he has his tour, the Sworn Enemy tour. He's got like the cabin interviews that he does. So he can yeah. be suited up political interviewer, yeah. Tucker. Tucker's sharp. Yeah. He's well read. He likes and, Zins. That's cool. Yeah, he's into the Zen. Yeah. Now the um yeah, the Mr. Beast uh Can I see what he said? Oh, the Mr. Beast thing? Yeah. Yeah, basically, he was like, uh, I upload it, go to watch it, or I'll dropkick you. And then someone was like, upload on this platform too. Elon says, yeah. And then he says, my videos cost millions to make, and even if they got a billion views on X, it wouldn't fund a fraction of it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Which, I mean, YouTube pays the most, it seems like, of this type of content. Yeah. So. Damn. I mean, yeah, if, if Twitter's not paying any ad revenue, can he do it? I said I'm down, though, to test stuff once monetization is really cranking. Yeah, yeah, but he needs to make money. I think what he's thinking is, if I post it on Twitter, it's going to take away from my views on YouTube, yeah. Yeah. which generate revenue. Yeah, so I'm losing money to promote your platform. Now, what Elon should be doing is going, "Here's the check. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to pay you more than you would make on YouTube yeah. to just also post here. Yeah, post here because that hurts. Because he's also got Twitter Blue, which is where they're they're advertising. People are making so much on Twitter using Twitter Blue, and then if Mr. Beast is like, "No, I'm not," hmm. then I'm I'm like. Oh, maybe I don't need this fucking blue check. Yeah. I was thinking about getting it, and I might still do it, but whenever the special comes out, I was like, maybe I put it on Twitter, get the blue, it monetizes too, and now I'm looking at it like, oh, you don't make that much. Yeah. Maybe it's a bad move. Yeah. Yeah, they got to figure out just how to, like, get actual money off these views, which yeah. is the biggest challenge for all these platforms. Like, short-form views specifically, like, how do you really make money off it? Yeah. It's just tough. Yeah. I mean, what the advantage that, you know, TikTok has is that you get lost in that scroll so they can throw an ad as the fifth swipe up. Yeah. Twitter is a little different in that your scroll is the feed. It's kind of an antiquated model where it's like you're just being, you're just being like um, almost force fed these things that, and most of the stuff on your feed is people you follow, but I think they also throw other things they think you'll like. But TikTok is the genius. TikTok is like, they're like, we know what you like. You don't got to tell us. Yeah. And we're going to feed it's it a to full you. swipe. I can't do one swipe and get go past 10 tweets. Yeah, 100%. You know what else that tweet makes it feel like is, oh, y'all are y'all can't afford to pay? Yeah. Y'all can't afford to pay. You're still broke. Aye. Yeah, maybe. Mm. Did you see the, the Cybertruck ad, quote unquote? That was great. Like, did you see this? Like, basically, this went viral. It was like, Yo, Cybertruck got in its first accident. Here's what happened. And this is the picture of the Cybertruck. Fantastic. <laughs> and this is the picture of the Corolla that it hit. Holy Absolutely shit. fantastic. I, I don't know if it's really an ad, but this shit feels like it, it just looks so good for the Cybertruck. Yeah, it's Damn. an amazing ad, if it is. Now, here's the question. Do we have the list? Do we have Epstein's list? <laughs> do we have start. fucking Epstein's list yet? Let me find out. How do we not have Epstein's I'm, list? I'm starting to really think this is going to be so underwhelming. It is. No list yet. No fucking list. Um, 
What do we think about this uh, Tasha K, Kevin Hart thing? I mean, she's been sued like left and right. Yeah, she's been sued a few times. For defamation. Yeah, I, I didn't know who she was. I had heard the name, but I was watching her videos yesterday when the story... Weird. But this is extortion she's suing him for. So defamation was Cardi B. This one is she was literally allegedly trying to extort Kevin Hart with his assistant. Yeah. Uh, you give me yeah, $250,000 right. right. yeah, 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 and I right. won't post this video. Yeah. And it's like, that's a, that's a crime. Yeah. Talking shit about somebody or saying something is podcasting. Yeah. Now, once these lawsuits start getting thrown out, it might change podcasting. We might have to throw a lot more allegedly's out. Yeah. Hmm. You know? But extorting somebody, saying, I need a quarter million dollars, or I'm going to drop this on the internet. Like, how are you so stupid that you don't know that that's a literal federal crime? Yeah. Right? But then the thing that's confusing to me, why sue? Why not just go after her criminally? Like, have the feds go after her. I think he called the police. Oh, did he? Yeah, oh, I, I thought he's just suing. Oh, I thought this is a criminal trial. Oh, okay. So, I'm not sure. I mean, the way that I think you really hurt people, I guess, is financially. Right, like if you're like, like I'm gonna make it so that you can't even do this shit anymore. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, yeah, you should do criminal. Put it in jail. Mm -hmm. You're extorting money, like. Because Cardi won the suit for four mil. Yep. And now she keeps going after her, like. To collect. Yeah, which is fucking great. Like going it. after everyone around her, mm -hmm. just like that. Like, where is she hiding the money? Because I want every penny of it. Yeah. <sighs> what do you think right. about uh, my man T.D. Jakes? Those allegations. Do we know for a fact it was revealed in anything? I feel like it's yeah. just rumors. This one's all bullshit. It's bullshit. Yeah, yeah. this one's T.D. Like, Jakes, man. It's man of God. <laughs> He's a Christian man. Christian man. He's a Christian man. God-fearing Christian man is not going to get his fucking cheeks, cheeks clapped, power bottom, they're saying. Yeah. That's, they were calling him a power bottom. That's See, double. There's no good Christians that are power bottoms? Let me think. Dudes or women? Dudes. Ugh. Oh. I thought, I thought the new Christians are allowed out now. Oh, yeah. The Pope, Pope, Pope yeah. said you could bless them. Yeah. You could bless them. You're not going <laughs> to give them the wafer or nothing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you get top, but just... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You can get it. Yeah, yeah, It's not gay to get it. Uh, I think... How long do you think before Christians are like, ah, you could be gay? Catholics? No, nah, because y'all are really the the yeah. the most concerned. But you also need the Catholics to like keep things more or less in line. But the thing about Christianity is that that shit is... You know what I mean? Is it? <laughs> why'd you, why'd you yeah, act so gay with that? There, bro? Son. That was like it just ooh. moves and shakes, bro. The die, you know, it takes what's hot. Like it, yeah, mm. God, just Catholic shit. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what that is. Looking funny in the light. Yeah, now. Yeah, no, yeah. Catholics don't. Catholics yeah. like, yo, Catholics, this is not, what it even is. Christian shit. That little book. dance you just did, son. Right. Nah. They swag surf, bro. Nah, <laughs> yeah, they put rap music in the sermon. Yeah, Everybody swag point. surfing for the new year. This is Christianity, yeah, bro. Look, the little Diddy, take that, take that, right there. Christianity. Once it's hot, the gays got to be hotter. That's the thing. If the gays really were providing enough value Christianity to take that shit in and make it part of what's going on. They've done that throughout the Sunday. Mm -hmm. We celebrate the Sabbath is Saturday. It says it in the book. Mm -hmm. We switch it up. Gays Sunday. provide a lot of value. They make the most money. They adopt kids. They can't Wait, What do you mean they, they make the most kids. money? Gays be making money, dog. Yeah, the, the dinks, bro. Dinks. Dual, but dual income, income? No, no kids. kids. Or if they get kids, they, they adopt them. Take kids from orphanages. Because mm. they can't have any own. So mm. There's like five gays that adopted. <laughs> Gays are at the fucking club doing ketamine. They're not adopting kids left and right. Let's just be honest here. I've seen it. I've it's seen happened it. some, once some postseason gays. In the postseason, some yeah. of them do. I'm just tired. saying, it's not common. You know what I mean? I saw an Indian woman uh, with abs once. Whoa. <laughs> My wife. He said, there you go. He, he, I don't say why I don't say why. I don't talk about wives. I'm just saying I saw an Indian, another another Indian woman. Yeah. And and uh, <laughs> Yo, does laugh at bad hard. He's laughing because he know I made that shit up. I'll be honest. I never <laughs> seen that once, but I was trying to give y'all it's, it's a rough area for y'all. It's a rough area. The abdomen is a rough area. Mm. It's hard. It's hard. Mm -hmm. I'm on Voompla. <laughs> You are on Voopla. I'm on Voopla. I see every new Bollywood Voopla? actress. What's Voopla? Voopla. Oh, like a that. Hollywood IG page somehow. He's it's on. The I'm best. on Voopla. It's the best. You see, you see these you Hollywood what actresses. Are, all are you trying right to set now. me up right now? No. Don't you dare set me up. I'm not. I would have already said it. You already said what's Voopla. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> what is it though? Nah, I literally that. just told you. Can yeah. we pull that up? Yeah. It's the best Instagram account. All right, Voopla. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. You've never been on Voopla. 
They have all the Bollywood actresses and stuff on there. And it's you like, get to see all their their, their, their uh, stomachs. Yeah, have Vumpalas there. This one? Oh! Oh! Is that what we're talking about? Are you completely making this up? No, it's Vumpla. This is a well-known thing. Yeah, Keep but going. why there was other posts with just little kids? Because they're famous. Yeah, this is, I'm assuming it's just people like... people with their kids, Bollywood actors. Oh, I thought we were just looking Bollywood at bitches. People. No, no, it's just anyone that's famous. No, yeah. This is, oh. Are y'all really not on Vumpla? Mm. It's crazy y'all not on Vumpla. So you got to get on Vumpla, bro. Yeah, I'm on how Vumpla. have you not been on Vumpla? Oh, are you on Vumpla? I'm on Vumpla. Oh, no. no they got to post you, No, bro. no, they ain't got me Keep going, yet. keep going. Oh, oh that wow. hit that head. Head. Wait, that head. That was wild <laughs> cute. This one's fire right here. Hey, yo. Nah, that's fake. Indian hot chicks? Come on, bro. Okay. That's fake. That's AI. Oh, damn. Look at that one right there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Shut up. Shut yeah. Up. <laughs> yeah. Look at these hot ass Indians. Son, that look like Dove and Dove. <laughs> <laughs> dove and Dove. Dove wishes he looked like either dove one of them. <laughs> oh God damn! Look at them abs. That's AI. Yeah, you can say that if you want to. Yeah, I mean, Akash, let's be serious here. You don't genuinely believe that. I don't. That's actually too many abs to be attractive to me, but. That's too much abs, but that's nah, real. It ain't. No, nah, no. Nah. Thousand percent real. No, nah, thousand percent. <laughs> <laughs> One thousand. Okay. So in all seriousness, guys, um, what do we think about Colorado and Maine trying to ban uh, Trump from the ballot box? It's kind of funny. Like some of the people that uh, are like coming out in, in opposition to it. Talk to me. So I don't think Maine. Use them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's been a couple of Democrats actually that are like, so if, I think Maine specifically, I don't know if Colorado is the same thing. I think I just read it from Maine, that basically you can't run if you support an insurrection. There is, is like a, the, yeah, they, they're like going a, off of. Like a post-Civil War. Yeah, yeah there's, what something. is it, 14th Amendment, there's a clause or something like that that says if you support insurrection, I think it can give cause to remove your eligibility for something. It doesn't specifically say president. Mm -hmm. But it, it's your eligibility for election. I'm not exactly office. sure. Office, I thought. Office, yeah. yes. Yeah. So they're using that clause to remove him from the ballot. Right. Now, the question is, one, will the Supreme Court let this live? I doubt no. it. Zero but chance. The fact that they've already tried is just going to bolster support for Trump. 100%. This is the best possible thing it's they got so for dumb. Trump. I heard he's trying to get around it by holding a caucus. Because then if you hold a caucus, you, there's no ballot. And you can like get around it. Hmm. The Republicans do caucus. Yeah. Also, but has it he, depends on the state. Sorry, has it, he been so convicted? Like if they switch this, then they just get around no. that. It, you don't need con the to be convicted. A, yeah. So, what is the judgment on whether or not you supported it? It was if okay. you have it's reasonable. Self executing. I think that's like its own trial. I think I assume in my brain they're finding you guilty. They're finding you guilty of supporting an insurrection. So whatever the federal court or whatever state of New York says, in our eyes, for this law, you support an insurrection. So the punishment is for this is not jail time. It is you cannot run at the judge's office. discretion. Yeah, I guess the, the no, Colorado Supreme yeah. Court. Here's the thing. Yeah. Gotcha. So there you go. Here's the question here. Now, uh, uh, is this an Organized, I think about this in two ways. Is this an organized attempt to remove Trump from the election by the people in power, the they's, if you will, right? They cannot possibly be this dumb. Or, or is this local, um, not authorities, but like local politicians trying to stat satisfy their constituents by being the person that try to get Trump taken off because I hate Trump so much and I hate Trumpism and and that's what I'm going to do for you guys. I'm going to fight back against Trumpism. And then it manifests itself in this like plan organized by the DNC to remove him as competition. See what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah, yeah. I think my knee-jerk reaction is like, oh, here goes the DNC fucking it up again or here goes the the days, the Democratic days, the liberal days. They're going to fuck this up and they're going to send Trump right to the White House mm -hmm. with this organized plan to remove him from the ballots because they don't think they can beat him. But I wonder if it's not that sophisticated. It's just at a local level, you're just trying to satisfy your base. And what is better for a liberal base than just going, hey, we're going to get Trump off the ballot because this guy started an insurrection. What's weird is it's also on the ballot in conservative states. Texas, for sure. 
It's on the, like, it's not on the ballot. It's a, they're the mulling the same thing. Well, I think which, there's Democrats that can put it on there, right? Yeah, it's not I, just, I guess so. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you tell your fan base or your exactly. voting base, it, I did it. I put do it you on want there. the actual answer? Yes, yeah. sure. It's separate, just uh, unorganized litigants, and they're choosing different arguments uh, to argue this point. So one... Michigan had one argument, Colorado had another argument, and Maine was the Secretary of State who basically because of Colorado's Supreme Court agreeing with the lower court that he was an insurrectionist, she couldn't in her mind say, oh, this is – this." she had to uphold the Constitution in her mind because it says 14th Amendment, if you're an insurrectionist, you can't run. So therefore, as Secretary of State, an apolitical position – she had to say this. So it it's all just completely disorganized. And then it will be conflated as an organized movement, but mm. that's what's actually happening. Hmm. The more you know. That's kind of what I uh, suspected. That's basically what you said. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it is, it is ensuring <laughs> he gets elected. Shouts to you, Tom, for knowing what I know. Yeah. Did you tell him that before? I be did. Honest? I told him. I told him right before. Oh, that's fine. Anyway, what a fucking he dumb. He told me to kill the pod is what yeah. he said. <laughs> <laughs> what a dumb fucking idea by the, uh, by these local, uh, these yeah. local cloud chasers, these local political cloud chasers. Um, Trump 2024 is looking more and more probable. Who Not beats a chance. him? Who huh? beats him? Who? Biden. I don't know, yo. I think Trump's <laughs> Biden's only hope is RFK takes Trump's vote. I think. But does I think RFK might even take? He'll more. take some of Biden. I think he'll take more of Trump personally. Oh really? What's your thinking for that? I think he kind of espouses, and this is why I think he could be a, a Democrat plant because I think he espouses more of the things that speak to Trump's fan base than vaccine. Biden's fan base. The, the vaccine is harmful. Like kind of the conspiracy theories he'll he'll float out there. That's going to, I think, take more of Trump's fan base than it is Biden's mm, fan base. Yeah. I think if you're a Democrat who votes for Kennedy, you're just voting for him because he's a Democrat who's not Biden. And that could be a lot of people. I don't know. But yeah. none of us really like Biden. We're looking for any solution. All right, there's one. But I think to empower people, like people, people are like, I want to vote for this guy. I think RFK is going to take more of those Trump people. Why don't we like Biden? It just, it feels like everything is a mess. It feels like he has no idea what's going on. Does it feel None like of us, everything's a mess? It feels like other countries don't respect him. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, so there's a couple things going on. There's one is him, the person, and his mental state, and his age. I think it's the biggest thing. Yeah, that is, and that's a perception thing. Do other countries think that we're weak because of this? Do other countries not respect him and his decision making? Are they going to talk to his intermediaries who are actually making decisions? Sure. But in terms of like how the country is, I think we, I think a lot of the country don't feel like he's fit enough to perform his duties. And so I think that's the biggest thing. But, but 100% get that on board, 100%. But in terms of what has happened during his tenure, has, is there anything that's happened that has made you go, this fucking idiot, look at the country, it's in complete disarray. It's, I do it's, think people's like ambient sort of like personal feeling towards the society is what will reflect whether or not it's based off a of direct Biden policy. So like war in Russia and people are like, wow, we're giving so much money to Russia. The whole world's fighting against each other. Israel, Palestine, war in the Middle we East. We lost all that British like trade heavy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was like the Herschel Walker. Like inflation's yeah. going up God. and people are can't buy groceries, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Inflation so, is crazy. So I think it's stuff like that where people Which are like. You could blame on Trump's COVID policies. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I, don't, I paid $10 for a box of cereal yesterday. It's crazy. Right. So I don't know if you can directly pin it to a Biden policy. I'm sure someone could if you wanted to make the argument, but I yeah. think it's just a general like atmosphere of like, uh, I don't feel optimistic for where America's heading. My suspicion is that that, that is, is, the, Thank you. that is how people feel every single election cycle. Like, I, I think that every time there's a chance to have a new president, people think about all their issues and they're like, these issues are this guy's faults, mm -hmm. as we should. That's the name. The job is to take responsibility for everything. If shit is booming during that like first four years with Clinton, you know, I mean, everybody was like, I love this guy. Run it back. This was great. So you have to take that backlash. That's why you're there. I just wonder if, I don't know if America is in complete disarray. Okay. I, I think it's actually, I think most people would say like the temperature is much lower than Trump. 
Like when Trump was here, everything was fight. Trump goes, the color blue is good. Fuck the color blue. How dare you like the color blue? Everything is just an absolute battle between left and right. And now it just feels like the temperature is lower. And I think we attribute that to Biden. You have to give him some credit. Biden or his handlers or whoever is making the decisions. I don't really think it's Biden. But the economy, yes, there's inflation. We also printed $2 trillion. Like inflation should be 100%. The fact that it cereals only 10 bucks is astonishing. <laughs> it I'm doing, like, doing a good job. Everybody, exactly. Yeah. Like every, like, yeah. uh, the, we're, now don't get me wrong. I know there are people that are struggling to eat. That fucking is horrible. But based on what we did, our monetary policy, to inject that much cash into the market and have the market not completely flip. There is some sophisticated shit going on. Like we should, all that shit that I talked about the Fed, I should call and be like, yo, my bad. <laughs> you were fedding it up. You, you were nice. <laughs> whatever you be doing, do that shit. Mm -hmm. Because we only had 7% inflation or whatever it is, 10% inflation. I, I, I don't know. I think it's very easy to just sit here and go, oh my God, look at what a fucking inept idiot this corpse is. And he might be a corpse. He might be totally checked out. But the administration, which is not what we vote for, we vote for the man, but I wonder if we can honestly, objectively go, I don't think the administration has bombed. Yeah. Job numbers are back before pre-pandemic uh, times. Like, we've actually recovered. I, I'm like, not 100%, but in certain areas, we've actually recovered. I'm and just saying, like, like object, if we could object, if, mm -hmm. if Biden was 65 years old and this was happening, I wonder if we have a different sentiment towards him. Sure, the problem sure. is he can't, I don't think he's has it enough up here to charm us in the way that Barack could mm. or Bill could or even Trump could. They they would and we want to be charmed. Yes. We want to be sold on the way out the door. You buy a car, it doesn't the sale doesn't stop when I sign. The sale stops when I drive out. That's even after I've paid. It's the best car you're going to fucking love. Oh yeah, and by the way this thing sell us on the way out. And he just doesn't have it up there to sit in front of a camera and then make us go, that's my president. And I think to that point- he, And that's a problem. Yeah. He represents America. He looks feeble, he looks frail, he looks old. In the same way that- But keep, but again, that's a separate argument. I'm saying yeah, policies I think, and what's going on. No, I'm going saying on. to your point, I think that's why we're like, we're looking for the weakness. Absolutely, we're always gonna try to- that, criticize the people that are in charge. And that, well, here's why I also push back on that one point is I don't think you necessarily, if COVID doesn't happen, people like the left would have talked all the shit they wanted about Trump and what he's doing and blah, blah, blah. And I think a lot of moderate people would have been like, yo, the economy's kind of kicking ass and taking names. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm okay with this guy. Let's ride with this guy. This guy meaning Trump. 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 If, if COVID doesn't happen, Agreed. COVID Easily. fucked the whole thing. Easily. He, but yeah, so I think, we're not to that point of like, we just look for what's wrong every, to a degree, yes. But I think generally we take stock, we pull back and we're like, what do we feel like the nation, do we feel like it's getting stronger or getting weaker? Uh, 100%. And that can be, and that can be, uh, you know, a, a single issue determination for voting for mm -hmm. some people. It's like, how does the nation perceived? Mm -hmm. If my identity is built into being American and America is being perceived as weak, now I'm being perceived as weak. Or, but even how do I feel the nation is doing? Like, where's what, it going? Is it going I'm up saying, or going down? What I'm saying is that might be indicative of how people feel about it. Yeah. Because if we're looking at the nation right now, based on the policies of the Biden administration, it's handled what it's went through incredibly well. Yeah, maybe. Objectively speaking and compared to other countries, like eggs and shit cost way more in Canada. You know what I mean? Like the way our inflation has been managed, you go down to fucking Argentina, it's 100% inflation on a Tuesday, 50% on a Wednesday. Like mm -hmm. what's happened with injecting that kind of money into the, company, into the economy is incredible. Are we gonna have to pay for it eventually? Probably. Mm -hmm. Maybe we've just been peeing on ourselves. Mm -hmm. There's that saying like, as long as you're peeing on yourself, it's warm. You run out of pee, it gets cold and uncomfortable. So maybe we're just pushing that off and pushing that off and pushing that off. They're gonna drop interest rates probably around election time, because they want us all to feel like we have a lot of money and we can go buy things. Mm -hmm. They're gonna do that, that's the game, and everybody does it. Yeah. When that happens, it might just push it even further. Eventually we might have to pay for what's happening. I guess what I'm saying is if we could remove our human instinct to like look for a leader and look for someone to blame for problems, if we could just look at how the country is doing for us right now compared to how other countries are doing. If our inflation is 10% and everyone else is 20, 
we go, well, shit, my man, you're killing it. But I don't think we're capable of doing that. I think it's just like, what yeah. am I frustrated at? I don't like that this guy's stumbling around and falling off of bicycles. People in other countries are making fun of us. Fuck those guys. Yeah, we need somebody who can tell us other countries suck our dick. Well, Trump will do that. To that point, I think a lot of people would be happy with any other Democrat that seems young and fit. Booty judge, I think people will be like, yo, that guy, he seems young, he seems sharp. Oh, I God. don't, the country's doing well with Democrats, just put a different guy there as the face of the country. I think that's why I think a lot of Democrats are like, dude, Joe, don't run again. Yeah, it's astonishing how little talent is. It's astonishing. I mean, Kamala just absolutely bombed. I mean, just Unbelievable. Does he have to run with Kamala again if he's doing re-election? Oh, it's just custom. It's rare. It's right, rare to like, fire your VC. And the optics of firing the first black female, yeah. whatever vice president, is horrendous for what the yeah. DNC is trying to do. It's a fire. But for her to white. just like completely yeah, sit person. back and just. Yeah. I mean. They could push her to resign and say, like, I want more time with the fam. That's true. She ain't doing that. Because that is a concern for the re-election. girl half black, half Indian, she ain't listening to nobody. <laughs> I'll tell you that but right now. But it's like, the, the election is like, we're electing somebody that probably won't stay in office through his term. Who do you think's a good VP if they replace? Nobody believes in Kamala. That's what I'm saying. Who do you think would be a good one? Like, it might be monumental. Her, I don't know who's worse, her or Hillary... Hmm. Hillary. Yeah, I think Hillary is less likable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yes, less likable, but like Kamala had everything going. Like the world was waiting to like her. Yeah. And every time she spoke, more and more people were like, I can't do it. I mean, I just can't do it. Like, it's crazy. Mm. Imagine she was white. Thank God she's not. <laughs> if she was white, you really hear it. Yeah. <laughs> you would really hear. Black people can't say how horrible Kamala is because she's black. If she was white, they would be on that ass. <laughs> how the fuck did this goofy get into I office? I think we're just giving her a hard time, guys. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know who you run as a VP. Pete? I mean, it's, it's astonishing how little talent there is in the Democratic Party. Like, it's unbelievable. We're Republican side, too. That's why Trump was able to body everybody. Yeah, but then like- Santis is just like less and less likable the more you hear him. Well, I think what happens is like all these guys get close to winning and then they're trying to not lose. They're playing that prevent defense. Mm -hmm. And then prevent defense is no personality. Like they are terrified to be themselves mm -hmm. because they're worried every single word that they could potentially say is gonna remove that thing that they've coveted since they're 20 years old. Yeah. And I think that's DeSantis. He's just falling apart. He's wearing heels and shit. He's like, oh, they'll like me if I wear heels. Be short, bro. Be a short fighter pilot. Nah, like, nah. Stand on them heels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. A lot of my Florida friends are like, yeah, we're good on DeSantis. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that yeah. crazy. And, they and loved Florida him, loved him. Like, so we was Ron, we trust. That's what they were saying on COVID. Yeah, yeah. Two years ago. And they were saying. His whole battle with Disney really fucked a lot of shit up. Yeah, that Disney shit really fucked him up. I feel like. What a stupid fight to pick. Yeah, it was crazy. Well, and what was the exact thing with Disney? I don't even remember what was it. Yeah, and like you want to tax them or something thing, like that. Or they have they have like very lax taxes based on the area that they're in. And then he there was like a don't say gay ban, and they sort of pushed yeah. back on him. And then he was going to try to take their taxes away, like their tax exemption away. And then it just became a fucking bad. That was the beginning of the end. Yeah. It was big he back. took control of the board, but Disney dissolved the board so they oh, had yeah. no power and basically just showed he was impotent. He got caught up in like saying woke too much. Yeah. And like not having a real definition of woke i feel like yeah yeah that's what yeah. banning books i'm trying to get through his book right now uh vivek but i feel like this vivek's thing is it's all about woke and it's like all right man it's not all about woke like <laughs> yeah. he's literally saying the problem with corporate america is it's too woke and that's fraudulent but it's almost like he's defending the shit corporate america did before and it's like yeah. you think this is where it all went wrong yeah. you think this is why poor people are poor is because yeah. corporations yeah. just went woke in 2012 we need to get back to the way it was like with enron yeah, yeah. like what are, you, yeah. what are you saying yeah. dude? purdue pharmaceuticals that's what we yeah. need yeah. that's yeah. funny just like a good american company that's, that's what we need right now it's like watching a comic do misdirection jokes for an hour and a half and you're like buddy <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is fucking good for 30 a little minutes bit. get bro. out of here <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah 30 Mix minutes it up. Mix the it yeah. That's funny. I keep falling asleep on everything. I saw American Fiction, amazing movie for the first half of what I saw. And then and I then just fell asleep. Tapped out. Yeah. Wow. Did you see Saltburn? Oh, no, I saw that one. Really? Oh. Crazy. I got some heat for you, bro. Bollywood heat? No, nah, I mean, some to get back at him because it's white boy fucking mud in there shit. 
Oh. And he's going to town. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. going to town. What is this movie? Damn it. Oh Send me timestamps. Which white guy? Send me timestamps. Damn, bro. Did you get to the Leave. end of it? Yeah, you got to the end? Son, he is fucking I'm not the watching shit that movie. out of this mud, bro. What is it about? Like, it's too gay. Talking, like, he's going in. Oh. So. It is gay. There's gayness. No. Mm-hmm. There's no. gayness, but low key, I like it because it's gayness, but it's like it's, like it's sinister. It's gayness, but it's heinous. You know what I'm saying, bro? It's a cool it's, movie. It's gay, but it's heinous. It, you, it's gay, it's like but it's also like the, the gay What's guys. Like Saltburn. Yeah. The gay guys may be a shit. bad guy. Nah, nah, nah. It's actually, it's actually really. Good. I'm not watching that shit. Son, he what? Why y'all want me to watch gay shit? Son. Son. It's not gay, gay. Can you try to find it? Just both disgusting. Because I'm telling you. Akash is vindicated now. Bro. Yeah, like disgusting. Like, <laughs> animals. Yeah. You guys are animals. Yeah, I don't know about the uh I don't know about this K movie. <laughs> right? It's really good actually. No. Nah, are you I, gonna be bothered because their gay performance is better than yours? Yeah. <laughs> like they're better gay actors? Yeah, but they took those roles when they didn't have to. <laughs> okay. That's, <laughs> that's what makes them gay. Fair, 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 fair. Oh, bro. What's going on over there? Oh, I'm pulling it up. It's, I can't find it exactly, but there's... Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God, yo. This is crazy. <laughs> Son, this is crazy. Oh, damn. Oh, come on. Oh, don't do, yo, he goes to work, bro. That's Barry Keoghan or whatever? Mm-hmm. No, yeah. no. <laughs> don't make it about the actor, yo. Y'all fuck him up. Say it about the actor. Now you y'all care about him up. <laughs> now he came to the uh, cellar. He came for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, y'all some mud fucking ass white folks. Yeah, he wanted to be under the ground, bro. He went to the cellar. He was trying we to get do low. it, you know, for acting. <laughs> <laughs> it's not real. Don't believe yeah, everything it's you see. Yeah, performance art. That's what you don't do. believe everything you see. It's uh, performance art. Shit. Oh, but he did Come it for on, love. Barry. Let the hey, record thank show. Thank you, dog. Yeah. You a good Hindu. You a good Hindu. I don't believe Monty he did it. Love you, bro. I don't believe he did it, bro. Oh my God, you see this? This is graphic. I need to see it. Son, they don't got no prosthetic on that thing at all. Oh, his dick is out. Son, he's going also fucking the ground. <laughs> like you see, God, he also oh, is weird. a method actor. Is he hard? Famously. I don't know. He's oh, he's a method actor, so he really he's did. Definitely it. naked. So he was and fucking he mud is... on the side. Brando, yeah. that mud. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get what you're telling me, Al. So he's is he fully hard or not? He's fully naked and he's fully penetrating that. Okay. So he's... Come hey. on, bro. <laughs> is it like a bog? Oh, son, it's a grave. It's a grave. Y'all are fucking disgusting. That's dude. not mud. Yes, it, it was raining. It's mud. <laughs> it was it's raining. It's mud. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was raining. He's the, fucking the, the mud to fuck a corpse. So he went y'all are park. weird, yo. Is it a bog? Does it have some Why, sort of, no, why you know so much it. about mud, you white fuck? I'm Scottish. We got bogs, bro. It's, you know what I mean? It might be some water underneath and it's easier to fuck through. But just fucking through straight like six Damn, feet of watch mud. Yeah, I can't this. wait. Somebody puts that. I can't find it. You gotta watch. Please tonight. send us that. Are you clip, saying like, you can't? Please get send a us fucking... that clip, yo. I don't think my camera been on this whole time. Please. Send <laughs> <us that clip. laughs> it's on. Uh, no, I, I can't find. You can get some pics though. This shit is 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 insane. He takes his whole pants off. He gets butt ass and starts going to fucking fucking weirdos. Out. Y'all are weirdos. Y'all are disgusting. <laughs> This is about love, animals, though. You gotta understand. It's not about the. It's not about the mud. It's about what the mud represents. Oh man! Because that's actually the gayest thing I've ever said. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he fucked it, yo. Son, oh my god! You gotta watch this tonight. This is good family viewing. Bruh. But you don't see his meat. Where the top stuff? Oh, you do. You see his you meat, see the dude. Meat. Yep. Stop the pretending I don't fuck mud. This been your big secret. That's why you've been putting it on me. You've been projecting. That's I, why your population is low. Y'all be know. fucking mud instead of people. I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I don't know. 1.4 billion Indians. We probably, billion Indians, probably we're picked probably it up from people. y'all. We probably picked it up oh, from y'all. Oh, that's cute. That's when cute. We were Keep daddy, doing that. When we were daddy. Ooh, you got to go with that, huh? I'm just telling <laughs> you. Know you. <laughs> I'm just telling you. Why can't we? Oh, we get religion for you, but we can't get mud fucking from you? That's convenient. Chicken tikka, but not mud you, you bit something. I'm you just saying. Other it seems to me that that's a British dude. He probably learned that when we were daddy. Why is that a British dude? Barry Kilgore, he's from Ireland. Oh, that's a British dude. Um, I don't know if he's from North Ireland or so Ireland. So are you British dude? I'm British, yeah. Have you seen the flag? St. Andrew's flag is the British flag. Fuck, dude. Have you not seen the flag? Yeah, I still don't have freedom. English flag. It's our, look, say again. English flag. No, no. British. Great Britain. The English flag is the, the red. cross. The yeah. X is the one that everybody knows. This is obviously a Scottish flag is incorporated. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Take your flag, huh? No, we bullied their flag. And just completely dominate the bloodline until they let the Germans in. No big deal. <laughs> is what it is. Um, Y'all fuck mud, dude. 
Y'all fuck Indians. <laughs> fire. Fire. Yo, yo, that's fire. That's shouts to Voompla. Yo, that's gross. Shouts to Voompla. That's so you much still grosser, on Voompla. bro. You still on Voompla? Hey, y'all did it the two billion times. Hell. This is as close as I can get, bro. <laughs> oh, he's oh, close no. with the nukes, bro. God damn. Come on, dude. Yeah, he he gets all up on it. Takes okay, this shit's broken. The internet's broken. <laughs> yo, you really suck. The internet is broken. I do suck. Fine, shit, Let me just let the yo, show. Pay, yo, yeah, this is a rough episode this. for you, Mark. Yeah, this has been a real bad episode I for you, suck. Mark. First one of the <laughs> year. And all right, yo. Hey, listen, you thank y'all so much for watching. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Peace.